Welcome back. Beans and Rice Show. Always good to have you. At the time of this recording, we had 164 subscribers. So thank you guys for subscribing. Go ahead. If you're not subscribed, please Go subscribe and share. <laughs> force, your, force everybody to subscribe. Everybody. Um, everybody around you. Much like socialism, it is free. So it's not going to harm you. We're not uh, the government. Okay. Um, at least not right now. But it is February 28th, last day of the month, last day of Black History. And like slavery, Black History is coming to an end. Should we abolish Black History, you think, so, us? For the rest of the year? For the rest of the year, after, yeah. today, after today, we will abolish We're abolishing it. it? Yes. What about 19th yeah. of June? What about the June? That's just a reminder. June, that, that's yeah. called an exception. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's an exception to the clause, the Raven Clause. Because they're dark, like Ravens. I thought you were talking about Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> yeah, you know? no, I had an make... exception for them because they don't like black people. No, they they have coal. <laughs> Where do they get the coal from? The mines. Oh, yeah. I, thought, I, I thought you were going to say Schweinsteiger. <laughs> yeah. Could be, but from Germany, <laughs> that's really good. That German coal. You know? Yeah, dude, Quick. imagine that they're actually giving you a piece of you know a person, basically Santa Claus. Do after a couple years you could assemble your own little army? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how many you have, or like Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah. That would be a good gift. You save up a lot of coal, you know? Yeah. And you can have Sounds a like... Frankenstein's mon monster. <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty nice. But, dude, that would suck. You have, like, three liver pieces. What am I going to do with three livers? <laughs> make a mega liver. You so know? you would never get alcohol poison. You could drink yeah. all day. That's what white it's people It's like trying have. to make it. <laughs> Ooh, that's what I need. Yeah, you need a mega liver? Yeah. Maybe we can get Alice a white person liver. You don't think so? I think we can. Yeah? Yeah. Like, whose liver would you want? Maybe liver king, huh? Oh, liver you king. You can be liver queen, Alice? Huh? I don't know about his liver. Why not? He, Doesn't he use steroids? Yeah, but you need him to work out any like you I'm would I'm not trying to be a man here. No, but so now he doesn't use steroids anymore, so you would just feed Allegedly. off the rest of the steroids Allegedly, that are left yeah. on the kidney. Yeah. Or the mm -hmm. liver, you know? I want a pure lever. Le you want a pure one? Yeah. But you say you take creatine. Want these mud <laughs> <laughs> what else is she taking? She says, Oh, I'm taking protein, creatine. Oh, I uh, can't take protein. Lego waffles. Isn't that oh, epinephrine. Lego waffles. Epinephrine? She's taking epinephrine. Oh yeah. She took a little bit of my Kepra, you know, yeah. like all this. That's for seizures. You She's know? uh taking Skyrizzy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Shout out to Crohn's disease. <laughs> I fucking haven't heard She's, that. She, <laughs> She's already like Pete Davidson, huh? Yeah. <laughs> No wonder she looked extra tall today. No wonder she's getting all the bitches. Yeah, she's, she's got, got that big energy, huh? Oh, well, she's got the extra riz from Sky Rizzy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you been doing that, Alice? Doing what? Because she came in looking so good today, huh? She did. Like Baltimore, she came in all black. And the other day when we, uh, when we hung named. out. Huh? My when name we should not be said. <laughs> Her name should not be said. I <laughs> She who shall not be named. Yeah. There we go. But um, Do we want to start off with that a little bit? What happened, you know? This weekend? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Our celebration, or, or you know, because these ungrateful fucks, you know? Well, and I'm just talking about Cynthia and Hobby. <laughs> 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 okay come on cynthia you know they were saying oh what is it pisces season they were saying that right yeah they were, we're kicking off the black people because now we're going to celebrate pisces season right <laughs> yeah <laughs> makes no sense <laughs> whatsoever because you know? pisces you know they swim black people can they swim hoss yeah they can you know yeah. <laughs> swim out of this fucking month okay <laughs> so we like, were going to celebrate and what happened you know it was going to be somebody's birthday you know yeah and uh, we went to the grocery store. So me, Alice, and, oh, and Beefy man. went to the grocery store Dude. and bought what? half the grocery store, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> bought so much. What did we buy? You wanna, maybe Alice can tell us what we bought. Alice you know? can remember. You think you can tell There's us? a lot of stuff that we bought. Yeah, what did and we, we get? went like back and forth in the aisles, and then we went back to the <laughs> same aisle that we were at like two seconds ago. Oh, But what did we buy? We were talking about... <laughs> okay, so we bought... What did we buy? We yeah. bought the honey bun, oh, oh, yeah. the Hawaiian honey buns. Mm -hmm. We bought a loaf of bread. <laughs> that um, sounds like the ghettoest thing <laughs> right now. Okay, come on, make it better. Oh, okay. hash browns. Okay, there we go. Eggs, hamon. How many eggs for these broke folks, Alice? We bought a dozen. Wrong. It was actually how many hoes? Three oh. dozen. Oh, okay. Th my bad. Damn. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Large, okay, cage free. But go ahead. Uh, we bought Nutella, syrup, jam, peanut butter. <laughs> uh, tortillas, oh. chorizo, Ooh. sausage. Ooh. <laughs> Um, uh, bacon, 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 ham, whipped ham, cream, whipped yep. cream, azúcar, <laughs> African oh, yeah, American azuka. cream. Sorry, guys. Okay, yes. but keep going. butter, a big butter. roll of butter. Oh, Jewish Amish butter, huh? Yeah, we did. Nice yeah. one. And then uh, leche, 
And I don't remember. And what Jewish it was. salt, kosher salt. Kosher, kosher salt. salt. The nicest fucking salt, you know? It's it looked really? like one of those blood diamonds. Oh, and diamonds. vegetables. It did. We bought some yeah. vegetables. Oh, we got vegetables. We did did yep. we miss anything? Probably, but I can't remember. Probably. I mean, Alice bought flowers. Oh, oh yeah, bought yeah. flowers. For flowers. Oh, man. Yep. And then what, what were we going to do? Uh, we're going to watch John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Just to continue on. You like that move or what? VP's Drop your gun, Wick. <laughs> they were saying that. Drop your gun. <laughs> what's up huh come on dude huh? just to continue on bp's obsession with guns right <laughs> dude did i have to do a fucking spell huh? Huh? i didn't see you do it again <laughs> did i have to do a fucking spell <laughs> did i have to do a spell you need a fucking spell come on dude with like dude i was on john wick dude oh man dude it was <laughs> She got a fucking dog, you know, and all of a sudden, oh my God. Dude, he starts killing everybody, you know. <laughs> yeah. They should hire him for the fucking Humane Society, you know. Yeah. And PETA. <laughs> Come and, on, and yeah. Everyone dude. would be a vegan. You're showing fucking, uh, you know, you're showing the masses fucking, you know, sad dogs. Show those to John Wick. <laughs> See what he does, okay? <laughs> okay. Find all the owners, you know. Email him an Apska commercial, yeah. okay? Well, maybe not, because in Hobby, you know, they always, Brooklyn, whatever the fuck you know, all, all those dogs that he dropped off at the, at at the, the shelter. <laughs> Brooklyn, come on! <laughs> oh, man, poor John Wick will be like, where's Brooklyn? Where's Brooklyn? <laughs> Can you imagine poor Brooklyn, dude? She's fucking Russian, and she only knows Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Siberian husky. <laughs> <laughs> who knows spanish oh, from mexico dude, only you know yeah. that would suck, brooklyn dude. just tries selling him every bitch has its price <laughs> so technically i've made a, a mexican telenovela dog I if mean, you think about it i feel did you really give her away that one or which one's the one that you kept yeah, brooklyn away? yeah you kept blanco because he's white oh. <laughs> he has his papers hey, Trio, let's go. Hey. and introducing the <laughs> new <laughs> leading <laughs> candidate <laughs> For employee of the year, Hoppy. Oh, he needs that privilege. And with that, let's go ahead and get in. In a house full of Mexicans, we needed the white. <laughs> let's start off with the introductions. It is I, the host, the Butter Pecan. Puerto Puerto Rican. Rican. Okay. In front of us, we have uh, someone who doesn't have a single active hair follicle. He is a bald beauty. He is our peaceful protester our zen master well before you say that can can we hit him with the beams you think so do you guys want to see the beams or not <laughs> well, let's see the beams. i don't know yeah. what to see the beams alice i want to see the beams let's okay go. who do we got the one and only jimmy, jimmy. <laughs> Oh my god. Put him back on. Okay. Are his eyes lopsided? <laughs> it's too bright. Oh, dude. He's getting crazy. Are his right? eyes lopsided? Oh, hey, he's Asian. I was going on, dude. Yeah. One looks higher than it's the other. It's called genetics, okay? Come on. You know, but speaking of genetics, you know, somebody. I'm going to have to need to eat more carrots after that. <laughs> somebody under Jimmy. We're going to go under Jimmy. We're going to go under Jimmy. Right? You no, know, because, dude, he made it snow, you know? He did. We Quite warned you guys last week. Winter is coming again. Yeah. Okay? And, and who came? Well, he came a lot, okay? <laughs> he came loads. Well, loads. You know? Waste management was out there. The plows, you know? Somebody said, oh, you be the snow, I'll be the plow, you know? Indeed. But I couldn't be the plow because I'm still a king, okay? So I was snow. <laughs> but <laughs> we got who do we got from the Jewish community? Huh? Uh, we have our security guard in the chats, keeping us safe as always. Larry. The, the winter, winter soldier. soldier. Okay. And now we're going to go on top of Larry, okay? To the left of the host in real life, to the right of host on screen, wearing the canary ye yellow. If your gassoon's a little tight, what She happens? can uh, open that up with the jaws of death. Okay. And if uh, you wanted to live, what happens? Well, you can. Not when she's around. Oh, Embryos yeah, no, Anonymous. Nobody lives, you know? Yeah. The EA Sports. Yeah. <laughs> Embryos Anonymous Sports. <laughs> no refunds, okay? Yep. But who do we got, Hoss? It says it's in the game. She's in the womb. We have our very own mobile abortionist, Nissan, Nissan Hatake Aormoto. Okay? And we're going to go behind her. You know, somebody that looks almost like her, you know? And some people would call her her. Saipan sister. Okay, but she's still building phones. She got the new iPhones around. You know, she's building new uh, Samsung sauce. No. No, only Apple products. Only you shit know? products, okay? okay. <laughs> Do you think in her hand, she, I mean, obviously the phone, in her pocket, you think it's oh, twine, yeah. you think it's butcher's uh, twine, you think it's a little string, a shoelace? Wrong. She. It's a bunch of nets. She knits nets, mm -hmm. knits what? Nooses. And along with that, everybody sing along with us. Sister, sister, sister give, give me the, the news. news. 
but it's the one and only. You want to start it off, Alice? Who do we got? Owner of Melissa's Factory. And I heard she's excited for next, you know, next February, you know, for next year, not because of black people are going to make a comeback, but leap year. She's going to have an extra year for her employees to work, right? And undercut them on pay. She yep. said, because what she's going to say, and it makes perfect sense, that she has been paying them an extra day or an extra quarter of a day <laughs> every, February. every February. So yeah. when it comes to that day, no more pay. Yep. So she's she's looking forward for next year, you know? Yep. But somebody that's always looking forward is a little piglet in the blank because she's facing forward, okay? In real life, facing forward on camera as well. But she's uh from the indigenous community. Her cousin Santos were here on the HOA last week. Who do we got, host? We have the seeker of dreams and the speaker of nightmares, our very own Raku Mama. Raku Mama. Rakumao. Okay, and then we got somebody holding Rakumao, you know? Yes. To the right of me in real life, the left of me on uh, the screen when I'm ill and I need a pill. He's got the pill to Ibiza. You know, and unfortunately, February's coming to an end, you know? <laughs> and when February comes to an end, us. You get scared because black history, are we going to remember it? But when you get scared of black history not being a thing, you get frightened. And when, when you, you get, get frightened, frightened, you get goosebumps. When you get goosebumps, goosebumps you get... El Hibijibi, Filomeno, El Hibarichon. <laughs> Go DJ. Oh, that's, that's my DJ. DJ. Go, Go DJ. DJ. <laughs> you know, but then you got me today. You know, I'm the freaking John Wick master. You know, the pistol whipper, snapper, the one and only host Beefy. 666 six, 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 La Bestia. Yeah. Okay, dude, I'm ready to fucking kill, dude. I've got Are the you? urge. Oh my gosh. You know, but you can't He's talk about John Wick. To urge. Well, who's the guy that died for John Wick? <laughs> Who died for him? The Green Goblin guy. William you know? Defoe. William Defoe, you know? <laughs> But, uh, but he's not. She's not the foe. She's the, the ally. Oh. You know? <laughs> she's the she ally. She's the ally. Technically, you know, yeah. ally, Alice. Plus. Yep. ally Alice. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like a book we need to make for gay people. You know, <laughs> ally Alice. Ally Alice. Yeah. <laughs> and people are like who uh, Ali? <laughs> is this a Middle Eastern book? Oh well, dude. We've we went to Walmart today, and dude, there was a. Somebody that was wearing a Muhammad Ali shirt. What did she smell like, host? Oh, she smelled like the essence of <laughs> Ethiopia. Oh, you know? yeah. Hold, like the... Somalian Silk... sand pit, oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Just I like... Think... It was not good smell. Oh, yeah. You know, she but... was nice, but deodorant would really oh, help man, her it out. was horrible you know nobody we should have known like there was nobody at her line yeah and walmart was packed you know yeah and she said come here yeah she waved she people over us. and yeah. people were just like we'll yeah. wait they you knew know? better you know yeah. they were frequent customers we go to harman's most of the time we're macy's okay yeah. they were frequent flyers and wow. you know we we fell for the trap but somebody has a frequent flyer in her jumbo jet you know <laughs> on the ones and twos, twos. The Wizard, Wizard of, of Oz, Oz, former em leading, leading candidate, candidate for Employee of the Year, ICE, ICE Agent Alice. Hi, guys. Emphasis on the ice. Bumblebee you know? tuna, guys. And now we got somebody next to Alice, you know, somebody that's starting to not back the Ukraine, you know? They're starting to take a stand, and he's always standing, you He's know? always standing. Have you ever seen him freaking sit down, actually? I don't think I have. No, you know. He's always standing at attention. He's always saluting. He's got the thumbs up. And he pays close attention to the stock markets because the only costs he cares for are hollow, okay? Uh. <laughs> and so he can't be in debt. Or Although, cast iron pants. Yeah, know? perhaps. Yeah. You think he'll cast a little iron? Maybe, <laughs> uh, he'll cast a little bit of iron, <laughs> season it with a bit of kosher salt, yeah. if you catch my drift. Maybe he'll cast a couple iron deficiencies in you. Yeah. You know? When you're around him, you're not anemic. Okay? <laughs> but who do we got? You know? <laughs> we have the wieners. Oh. No, no, no. We got Hold the Munich monster. The later Hosen Hosen lad. lad. The wiener snitchel snatcher. Gustafsson Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger. Hey, holy crap! He got, he got a little bit mad at us. You know, Schweinsteiger. Did, yeah. Did you see him? That could be my fault. No, Schweinsteiger. We are sorry, Schweinsteiger. Okay. Just can you point the camera at Schweinsteiger? Maybe you want to apologize to Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger, I got mixed up with your title because it was, it has been winter, and in winter it precipitates. When it precipitates, it snows, and sometimes when it snows, it hails. <laughs> but I don't hail you. But sorry. Okay, you know, I think now we're good. You know, yeah. we can make amends, but you can hail someone else. Somebody that <laughs> where, needs... the, where the hail does he? <laughs> <laughs> Third Reich, but I will say maybe somebody that needs to make amends with us. Somebody that needs to plead forgiveness. Yo, you definitely. Know? 
Farmer. <laughs> 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 you know, but we got somebody, you know, that he ditched us, you know? Somebody that puts it to sleep, his wife to sleep for two days, you know? Yeah. <laughs> he called it the Cupid's chokehold. <laughs> you know, the Lord's, you know what is it? The Lord's snap. The, lo you know? the Lord's lullaby <laughs> is what he's saying to her, okay? Well, bury himself. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> the Jigglypuff master. <laughs> hey, if Jesus can sleep for three. The wiggle <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia and baby can sleep for two, all right, guys? You know, the togepi. You know? <laughs> The Togepi Tugger, <laughs> <laughs> the Wiggly Tough Wanker, <laughs> the Omega from, from the, the Omega, Omega. Mr. Mr. J48, J48. Javi. Javi. You are Cristo Rey, guys, let's go. Woo, oh, there we, we go. The okay? He did give us the blessing. Well, I think he needs to give us something else, you know? Yeah, what's, uh, what are you resting your arm upon? You know? Upon the, the, uh, the golden <laughs> chalice, if you will. Okay. The good boy. <laughs> Jesus Christo. Jesus Christo. And Javi, he was so excited. He came in fucking barging in with the fucking good book today <laughs> through the fucking door, you know? He didn't even try to, he knocked the whole door down, you know? <laughs> and what were you telling us, Javi? That's something they found, some fucking bodies and like, you know? Uh, oh, Joseph Smith was right. They have uh, some Nephilim, or they f had found some Nephilim in Ohio. But then the Smithsonian took them, and Lord knows what they did. And that's not the contamination that's in the air from the that spilled. That was previous to the <laughs> a lot of people East hear Nephilim, they think that's a chemical. It's not a chemical. Yeah. I no. thought that was the thing that people were overdosing with. What is that one called? <laughs> Ketamine. Fentanyl. Fentanyl. Oh. Yeah, it sounds like hey, you know. Yeah. What is it called again, Avi? Nephilim. Yeah. Nephilim. So what is that? What kind of people are those? It's just the uh, the fallen, the fallen angels slept with the women who had fallen for them. And so they made babies that are like half demon, half human. So and they like, found these where? In Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Next to East Palestine. Dude, oh, it was wow. actually the fucking uh, train fucking drivers. It was a whole crew. Yeah. <laughs> they all just meshed together. <laughs> they just had dwarfism. Come on. It's, like, it's not that serious. Maybe yeah. for them. I mean. The roll-offs finally rolled off yeah. the rails, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have their booster seat. Oh, yeah. They didn't have the pedal extenders. <laughs> their booster seat. Yeah, they didn't you... turn on their turn signal. Yeah, they were so excited when the booster shot came out. They thought they were going to grow a couple inches instead. Yeah. What happened? Dude, they, they hear the term Negro and it's the different kind. <laughs> it's, you know, they're like, oh, I'm going to grow finally. You know, I'm going to have bigger knees. I'm going to be so tall. Yeah. <laughs> Is it, what do you think, you know, because Fauci now they're saying, oh, Fauci said this. What if that's how he got to the little people community? You know, it's like, we're going to give you booster shots, you know? So Maybe. They thought, yeah. They were going to grow a couple of inches and he just gave them syringes, you know? Yep. You think he would do such a thing? Of course. If you were a, a small person, would you opt into that or would you want to stay small the rest of your life, you think? I think there would be some benefits to staying small. You don't think so? Yeah, like, dude, course. you can hide in the cabinet. You can park yeah. wherever you want, technically, you right? You can have ass in your face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can bump into people and be like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> that's like 50-50, Alice. Yeah, because yeah, remember, somebody backs well, up I mean, too you're hard. you're the one that's walking. Yeah. You got to make sure where you're walking. <laughs> yeah. You're on the back. I mean, you might, if somebody, you know, just hits you with the hip, like, bro, you might fucking. You could be done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These big booty too. bitches. So you just oh, gotta wear a helmet you everywhere BBLs, you go. You know? yeah. Come on, man. Just wear a helmet everywhere you go. Problem oh. solved. Threat, neutralized. There you go. <laughs> you look like a little football player, you know? Yeah. Like the one in Mario, you know? Remember that guy? Heist, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> you would be a little person, Javi, or? Yeah. Yeah? Why not, you know? They look kind of like, they have fun, right? Well, I mean, have, I've never, I mean, I, I don't think I've seen They look angry, an, but you know, dude. Well, they, I, don't they, seen a, I don't think I've seen an angry one before. No? Yeah, but I've they seen. walk with so much pep in their step, don't they? Like the, like they're yeah. bouncy, like they have a happy song <laughs> yeah. in their head. It's because they got, and maybe since they walk a little bit weird, maybe that's why they got nice butts, man. You ever seen their butts? Yeah, all of them have dumpers. <laughs> Oh, man. I've never seen one with a flat ass. Little Tonkas, you know what I mean? Yeah. Tonka trucks. Just little Tonka toys. Yeah. You know? um, at the gym, I saw one. Yeah, he was on the treadmill next to me running. It was actually kind of funny. Like how how fast was he running on the treadmill? Uh, it was like a three point six. Was it fast enough to like catch a leopard? Not that fast. Oh. But like he was sprinting or no, he wasn't sprinting. It was more like a jog, but oh. still his little jog was kind of cute. Oh, that would be dude. Like even that. I wanted to record it too, but I didn't want to be rude. I was going to send it to you guys. Yeah? Yeah. Because then you, oh. you get these uh, people that get mad when you record them. Yeah. yeah. Or they're recording themselves and yeah. you look over, you know? 
Well, and that sounds like, like a small spot. threat, Javi, okay? You know? <laughs> maybe, maybe for him. <laughs> he might have had Javi's gun. You can find, you know that guy? Javi's gun is a big old fucking cannon. It's a cannon. Beluga. Cannon. <laughs> I stay with the. <laughs> that, dude, so there is benefits, right? You can save on shoes, right? Of course. What yeah, else did you, you save get Jordans on? for like half or a third oh, yeah. of the price? You can yeah, get, well, because they're kids' size. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. you can save on clothes, basically, right? You can get designer. I could probably afford designer, you know? At yeah. that Instead point. of all these stupid clothes that I have to wear. Dude, you could, when you fly, you <laughs> never have to buy first <laughs> class because every seat to you is like first class. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can lay yeah. down. You can sleep. You literally can lay down. Yeah. You can even stand up mid-flight. What, what are they going to tell you? <laughs> they think you're, you're actually really... just a, a regular nice person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just have a blanket <laughs> over your leg. <laughs> You just put your luggage right there. Yeah, yeah. Your shoes at the bottom of your luggage. So that's wouldn't another they, benefit. You pack they less. Need like a booster seat for ah. their airplane because they make the kids have one. Oh really? Like a certain age to make in them an have. airplane? I think so. Hey, Alex, you got the Google? Maybe we can make a bet. Do you think they would need us? I don't think they need it. No, I would say under four feet, maybe. I think uh, it would have to do more with weight. But yeah, I think even then, weight. yeah, because babies. Yeah, people hold babies in their arms, yeah. which I mean, it makes sense, but they have the. What those times, don't they have the, the car seats? The car seats? Yeah, but I've never seen like a, even a toddler, I've never seen them have a booster seat. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Does a small person- You so have to pay extra for that. That's another hundred bucks. So let's say like a small person, you know, they're maybe three foot eight. Is that maybe the size of a small person or a dwarf? Give or take. Do they weigh less, more than a baby that's that size? Yes, because I mean, you ta talked about it earlier. Their asses, like- they got big asses. That density, yeah. you know? So they're yeah. dense? And they're like pretty strong too. They have like dense muscles, so they weigh a lot. Oh, really? They're yeah. like little kettlebells kind of, huh? Pretty much. Dang, that would be crazy, dude. It's almost like when you pick up one of those meteors, you know how they say that? Yeah. Oh, pick up this rock. You know, this is El Pony. Mm -hmm. And this is El Gigante. But El Gigante, he probably weighs more than a small person, yeah, you know? Probably. Yeah. And what yeah. about- Are small people you know? called dwarfs or midgets? Well, dwarfs is the- term that the terminology the medical industry or whatever she's not looking for google yeah <laughs> she's still googling but well, i forgot what the question was even you know? was it, do they we're need trying, car we're seats? To place requirements a for dwarfs yeah on airplanes yeah, on airplanes dude even airplanes right like you said you can you can take uh you can take one luggage and have like a week's worth of just a carry-on bag oh yeah dude you take like one of those 747s that's like a mansion basically yeah you know a private jet well, that would if, be like if, a, they, if they had the money and bought all three seats bro that's like better than first class That's on like the room, on basically. Emory, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? The hallway, like the aisles, so that they could do cartwheels, you know, never touch a person. Yeah. The, oh. only, the only downside is you can't reach the top yeah. to put your luggage away, you know? Yeah, but you can just put it under the seat, right? True. That's even almost yeah. like sightseeing for them. Those little push carts where they have the sodas and stuff. That oh. looks like a building in New York to them. What other benefits? Is there any other benefits? or? There's got to be some that we're not thinking of. Yeah. It doesn't We're, say anything for them. It just keeps saying five-year-olds. Five-year-olds? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe you're right, huh? Yeah. Just five-year-olds. El Pony, you, you have to pay a ticket for El Pony or no? I think so now. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just, oh, yeah, you probably. Like, I think over a year or two. It's two years and yeah, something. That, or depending on how big they are. El Gigante? Sucks for him. He can never fly for he free. He has to pay for his parents. <laughs> yeah. <huh>? yeah. <laughs> they sit on his lap, you know? He tells his parents when they're boarding, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're group C, okay? We don't have to stand in line like these idiots, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I hate that. Don't you guys? Like, Playing whenever with you minorities, play? bro? Come on, yeah. man. All well, the minorities or the Puerto Rican pretty uh, good? Well, Puerto Rican community. On the island and, like, in JFK, because they fly so much back, like, they understand it. But outside of, like, those main hubs of like uh big airports it's annoying yeah, yeah. Man. do you guys know like is there a favorite airport that you guys have like do all airports smell the same or do they smell no, different? they all smell different i like the yeah. long beach one because it's like outside it's tiny and it's, it's tiny great. and you they just... have palm trees inside like it's like this half and half it's cool i like it it's, it's like a big like... hangar yeah 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 it's shout only has melissa. four terminals yeah yeah shout out to melissa again you know yep but anything else alice that we found about little people any fun facts or Anything you want to share? Nope. You know, nothing. So. Nothing else came up. Well, I think Google's trying to be safe today. Maybe we can get rid of the small talk. Take off the safe mode. <laughs> hey, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, you know, ending a, a great month, ending great history. Let's, let's end it with some happy holidays. Oh, yes. The last holiday is on the 28th. The last holidays of February. Yep. What do you have for us, Alice? The first national holiday for February 28th is National Public Sleeping Day. 
Right. Well, that's something that uh, this weekend we heard two people had a lot of. <laughs> public sleeping? Uh, they weren't publicly sleeping, though. They were private. Oh. Yeah, they were <laughs> you private. made it public business when you told us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is it public though? Because it's he says that they don't have a house, right? So are you lying it to us, Tommy? It's, it's public housing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not privatized, you know. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> it is. They're public. It, is, it is public housing. Yeah, because there's like 20 people living there, you know. Yeah. yeah. So is that why Javi now he? Now he, you know, I was trying to blame it on the HOA, but maybe this is why he feels like a public speaker now. <laughs> he could be. Yeah. He's, being, he, he's in public housing. Now he's the public speaker. Now anytime you know? I speak, thirty people are listening to my conversation. <laughs> he's like fucking Jesus with a baby. You know? Fucking sermon on the mount every day in his household. Oh, yeah. He thinks he has the state of the union every time he speaks. Yeah, you know, I just got to set up a little camera now, a little podium. <laughs> You think that's what it is, huh? Yeah. Oh, he he's getting shit confused, every... you know? He's getting shit confused. Huh? He starts off every speech with fellow Americans. <laughs> My fellow Amer even though they're all immigrants. You know? yeah. My fellow immigrants. Native Americans. You know? Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> it is with the uh, worst. Fellow illegales. <laughs> you know what? I said whatever Biden said first, you know? I may be white, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to say, if you're not, you know, black, you I know? did say that. If, if you don't not, vote for me, you're, if not, you're black, not a minority. You know? If you don't vote for me, oh. that's all I said. Yeah. That's a better way to put it, actually, huh? Yeah, you're not a minority, <laughs> minority if you don't vote for me. Oh, yeah, you can, that's everybody, basically. Has yeah, to that means the majority is voting for me, guys. Yeah. Come on. So we got public, what was it, public sleeping, you know? Have you ever slept in public, Hoss? You yeah. got a little bit tired, you know? I have. I would say school for us is like the first one, right? Yeah, well, you just like put your head down and sleep. Yeah. At the park is kind of nice if you have like a nice shaded tree spot oh, really? on like a hot day. <laughs> oh, dude, let me tell you something actually. Now that you say that, I was walking suddenly at the park, right? And it was actually exactly what you said. It was a super hot day, dude, like in the hundreds. And there's like this like a bunch of trees. And um, there was like, it was like a homeless lady that was sleeping because she had like her a uh, bunch of bags and a lot of treasures and shit like that that she had there. And, uh, First, it looked like she was a regular person, you know, but there was like obviously like a bunch of like bultos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's this fucking white guy, you know, fucking with a uh, big old headphones and he's got a metal detector, you know, <laughs> and he's just like minding his business. But you can hear the little, can you make the metal detector noise, Hoss? Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Well, his sounded more like. <laughs> Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so it's like that, dude. The crackhead, she's like, she gets up, she's like, ah, What are you doing? What are you doing? She's like, Get away from me, get away from me, you're gonna die. I'm gonna, dude. And she was just screaming this at the park, and the other guy's like, So into his fucking like, trying doesn't to even thing. hear, like, he couldn't even hear her. And the other lady just like freaking out more and more, you know, she's like starting to grab herself and she's starting to get scared and stuff. The other guy zero fucks dude like he even got like super closer it was actually he was after her treasures you know? yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was after her shopping cart and told her to get the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> it was a public parks and recreations okay <laughs> that's who it was <laughs> she was sleeping they kicked her out you know oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on don't die on me <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh i but missed yeah. my shopping cart too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He was a home wrecker too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but because people do hammocks, you know. Yeah. And dude, I used to like hammocks when I was Mexican in Mexico, but now, dude, the white people try so to take not over Mexican that. Mexican anymore? No, it's just white people try to take hammocks over now, you know. Yeah, Jews can't do hammocks. Yeah. Who else <laughs> can't do hammocks? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You're gonna have to explain that one. I don't get it. Jews don't eat not pork. Ham, hammocks, oh. ham would be pork. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, guys, come on, keep up. Or maybe they can't because it's mock ham. Yeah, it's faux, faux ham. <laughs> Imitation. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of hams do you eat? It's like fucking vegans with their, oh, I miss steak, but I love my cauliflower steak. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here with cauliflower steak. I, I never understood that either. Why would vegans make things taste like the things they hate so much? Well, not even, I just like, no, I don't care. Yeah. It could taste good. I'm okay with the idea of like the seasonings that you put on the cauliflower tasting good. But if you think that replaces steak, you've lost your goddamn mind. What is the only ham that Jews can eat? A hammock. A hammock. Hammock. Uh, food for Jews. 
Patent, Patent pending. pending. Oh, we're going to make that. Dude, nobody's even thought about that. Everybody's Substitute ham. Impossible. Everybody's catering for the vegans. Yep. The Jewish community, they've suffered a lot, you know? Mm-hmm. We're going to make... At the hands of... Some would say black people, okay? We're, <laughs> we're going to make faux bacon for oh. Jews, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to you. <laughs> faux bacon. One <laughs> slice. <laughs> One nice slice. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> because it's nobody's no, nobody's going to know what's in there. Yeah, it's a surprise <laughs> meat, guys. Oh. That's why the rabbi is going to give it the pass. It's the impossible meat, son. And the yeah. ribeye, too. You think so? <laughs> the ribeye. The rabbi yeah. and the ribeye? <laughs> the rabbi ribeye. <laughs> One of them said ribeye, okay, you know? Uh, okay, so public, what was it? Public, uh, Pub- public sleeping pubs, day. Yeah, public right. You guys never seen somebody else, like, fall asleep, you know, somewhere where they're not supposed to? Yeah, the bus, the bus stop. Oh, I've done that. I've fallen asleep on the tracks. At the yep. beach? Yeah. Hey, Alice, come oh. on. I told you to call me, or 988, don't fall asleep on the tracks. <laughs> Oh, this is before I knew you. <laughs> help me, help me. <laughs> I fell asleep on the tracks. <laughs> like a damsel in distress. <laughs> Her middle name's Cell. Damsel, stop fucking <laughs> being in distress. We got to get you the fuck out of here. And uh, this dress is a dress, okay? She doesn't like wearing speaking dresses. Speaking of dress. Oh, yeah, yep. you want to show something? She got That's the one segue. size. Yeah. <laughs> one size and nice <laughs> surprise, nice. okay? But Alice, she got... Her as a woman, you know, she got us a I little do. bit of a picture. Ooh. You know, if you guys want to see Alice, you think we should let uh, people see Alice as a woman? Host? I don't know. How do you <laughs> think we should, we, we should let people see uh, Alice as a nice young woman? I don't know, Alice. Should people see you as a woman? I don't know. Should they? What do you think? What do you think, host? I think we're good. Yeah, we can show them. We can show them. All right, guys. There's Reveal. a surprise. Big Kings. reveal. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, look at that nice oh. slice surprise. surprise. Oh, hold on. That gender reveal. You guys is got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you guys know Alice is a woman. <laughs> I am a woman. Guys. I think that's a gender confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they were Here doing at the me. church. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was a gender confirmation, you know. And you guys say Catholics aren't LGBTQ plus friendly. Come on, Dude, guys. They do gender you look so tiny man. and tender. Yeah. Oh, I know. You think that's is this in Mexico? Or no, where? that's here in Salt Lake. <laughs> Do you think that's what the blessing <laughs> sign is for? You know, you put your hand between their thighs and you spread them so you can see what they are. You see, do you check the parts, you know? <laughs> Hobby, can you confirm that? Uh, no. No? <laughs> oh, come on. I think it takes it. two hands, you know? You <laughs> yeah, it's a little more. Yeah, you put it in the other hand, you know? <laughs> they got to write things down. Or that woman, Dita, you know, when they put yeah. it in the middle. <laughs> But yeah, Alice, she looked really nice, huh? She you looked very she nice. She had a nice little hair, do you know? Yep. I had my nails done too, and everything. Yeah, everything nail. What is it? Nails on hair done. done everything, everything did. did. Oh man, she looked so good. And what kind of hair do was that, Alice? I don't know. You didn't tell them all. Oh, give me the number six. You didn't say that. No, they gave me the seven. Yeah. Yeah. So who would cut your hair back when you were a girl? Uh, my mom. She would trim my ends. Oh, um, your split ends. Yeah. Man, that was so. Would it be nice if? I guess being a girl would be nice because you. Like, your parents can cut your hair, you know? Like, being a boy, like, your parents cut your hair, you look like a fucking idiot. They give you one haircut. <laughs> yeah. Right? You get the bowl cut, you get a bus cut. Yeah, I always got the bus cut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever get the woody? <laughs> the woody cut or no? No. I did have a Mr. Potato Head. No. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me, dude. Yeah. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> What's a Mr. Potato Head? <laughs> You're fucking bald. They have to shake everything off. Because you had lice, okay? Oh, public health. Oh, my God. Public sleeping. <laughs> we both sleep in a public spot. Next thing you know, what happens to your head, host? You get lice. Oh, yeah, dude. Because, damn, dude. The Mountain View Elementary, you know? Because all these motherfuckers be licing to you about the fucking... <laughs> pesticides they have in their head <laughs> nice is lice <laughs> nice is lice yeah that's what he was saying the whole time that's you know? surprise <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want, are wondering why your head was itching you know <laughs> that's why yeah but we had this guy um in mountain view elementary home of the golden eagles home of the golden eagles now that we're talking about kids and because that was a public place you know yeah but he was a public transporter basically you know yeah so he was we had this guy's name was bart larson okay and then he, uh, he was he was white, you know, but he had uh, I don't think he had hair actually either. Now that we're talking about Mr. Potato Head, but he kind of looked like a Homer Simpson. Okay, so he had these his like head was like really Homer Simpson. What the what that's like a diglet, you know how they yeah. have a head. And then he would um, he was a cross guard, but he had like the record. He could cross half of the school, like dude, you could have probably like half of the school cross in like twenty minutes. Damn, you know. But the thing that would happen with him is he had a. Uh, like these giant goggles but 
When did they do the Prairie Dog thing? Is that uh, in the February? Groundhog's Day? Yeah, Groundhog's February. Day. February. February second. So yeah, so he would have because his eyes they were protective, so he had to wear these big goggles. But it's because he had like so he looked like a minion. A little bit, but he had uh, groundhog eyes. Okay. So they would say, oh, the way that he could see how much traffic and, like, if kids were in danger, because he never had any accidents. Okay. So they would say, like, the the way that they could see if uh, he could see if there was any danger, he could cast. So were his, his goggles, like, anti-fog, too? I don't know what his goggles. I mean, I was a kid, you know? Oh, man. But what he would do, he would cast, because he had the eyes of a groundhog. They were just, like, little eyes. That were, so they were... I mean, they needed a lot of protection, but wherever his shadow would cast, like, he would know, like, where cars were coming from, you know? Like, how many blocks away, like, kids were, or how many kids were so coming. he was like a walking sundial. Yeah, so he could, like, dude, he could move the school so fast, dude. Bart Larson. Crazy. And this is 20th anniversary, Bart La Larson. Shout out to Bart Larson. Shout you guys can look you. him up. Yeah, but I thought he was dead, dude, and he's still alive, dude. He's still alive. Yeah, I looked him up. I looked him up. So how old do you think he is now? Oh, uh, dude, I don't know when when I saw him, I thought he was like eighty. Honestly, oh, Jesus, dude. okay, and he's still alive. So that was that's what I was. So surprised. he could have hit the hundred mark. He's a groundhog, you know. Yeah. So yeah. So shout out to Bart Larson, Mountain View Elementary. Okay. Very nice. Uh, but what were we talking about? Oh, when Hobby, we were asking that question, us. I can't remember what question now because of Bart Larson. <laughs> you, are you ready? Such to a monumental, you know, Bart Larson. Do you got anything else to say about Bart, Hobby? <laughs> He's a good guy, you know? He's a pretty nice guy, you think so? Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I'll show you guys a picture. I actually found a picture yeah, of Bart Larson. If you can cross half the school that fast, yeah. you, you No saved, accidents, you yeah, know? Yeah, no accident. You saved not just the lives of the kid, but the time of the drivers. Because one of the worst things about driving in a school zone is having to go so slow, and then you get behind. Oh, yeah. And there was a I mean, and it was all minorities, you know, in Glendale? Yeah. So people so that were So they can't driving? read traffic signs and stuff, so he's oh, yeah. there they to do what they didn't even know what they were to. doing, you know? They said, yeah. tres passing. Couple terror taxis. Yeah, they, they thought it means three people at a time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> three people at a time. Yeah, tres passing. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good hobby. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Introducing the obvious playing, but... We well, got, I mean, uh, you already is, no? <laughs> so we got... Okay, so anybody else... Did you... Oh, Alice, you... Oh, we interrupted Alice. Sorry, you weren't sleeping on the tracks. That's what you were doing, Alice. Uh, yeah, I was falling asleep. <laughs> Well, that's all you ever did. You ever fell asleep anywhere in public? Uh, and what were you doing on the train, first of all? I had to go to my uh, therapy classes. Oh. Uh, for what? For prison? or For prison, yes. Oh. Uh, so you didn't have a car back then, or what? Uh, no, I had just got... Well, I did, but I, I needed to go get my driver's license renewed, so I couldn't... Wasn't going to risk the biscuit. Oh, so you only had to take it once and you fell asleep? Yeah. Oh, I thought she took it all the time. That's how she fell asleep, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. So you just took the trains once, or you have, you've taken it again since? No, I've taken it again. And I've fallen asleep on it again. It's just so calming. Like, oh, oh I'm on edge when I'm on. Uh, it's scary, huh? No, it's because they have small feet or small oh. chairs. You know, I have to sit on edge. <laughs> you know who would benefit from those chairs? Who? Midgets. Little people. There you okay. go. Oh, sorry, nope. dwarfs. Oh, dwarfs. man. Come on. That would be nice. Huh? Yeah. Midgets. <laughs> what about Hobby? Didn't, I think we all answered right where we fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah. So we got anything else to say about the holiday hours or we got an another one? Uh, we have another one. Uh, Rare Disease Day USA. Oh, that sounds like a perfect segue. <laughs> you know, because America is sick, right? Yep. And when America is sick? Uh, the world becomes ill. Yep. You see people, what are they doing, Javi, in the world? In the pipelines, in Ohio, <clears throat> what's going on? Well, you know, just a bunch of accidents, people, people getting sick, poisoned, if you will. John Wick, that's maybe what happened to his wife. That's yeah, probably yeah. They were in the Ooh. U.S., right? And what was the name of the holiday again, Alice? Rare Disease Day USA. Rare Disease Day USA. Do you guys know anybody with rare diseases, first of all? Uh, China, the Wuhan lab. The Wuhan lab. Well, they let out one rare disease. And what happens? We all get caught. Everybody gets it, you know? <laughs> yeah, we all, all got it. They all. like to share, is what I'm trying to say. Sharing you know? is caring, guys. Shout out to the Chinese. I think we need to go to the corner that I am always put in. We can go to the doctor's book to I diagnose have... America. Yes. <laughs> the corner that okay. you always put in. Yep. Hey, he's a okay. pimp. So maybe take us to the doctor's uh, office. He's Alex? got a bunch of hoes. Let's go be hoes. Oh. <laughs> ma 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 Melissa. D -d 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 I forgot my car keys. <laughs> Her truck keys. Okay, guys. She has keys. a truck. I'm a Patriot gang. No, I mean. She has yeah, who knows? Truck. Maybe I might. <laughs> <laughs> and I think join you. <laughs> and I think Javi. I think he can recap. You know, as a leading candidate for employee. Yeah, we're just talking year. about rare diseases. So I'm going to educate right. the uh, our audience. Oh, on I guess rare Javi's diseases. not going to. Recap. <laughs> He's not going to recap? You don't think so? Yeah, he can recap. To recap what the host just said, America is sick. People need help. 
And how do you start uh, getting help? By diagnosing what you have wrong. So, Dr. Hoss, can you please enlighten these? Again, the, the holiday is rare diseases. So if they're rare, they don't have awareness around them. And we're here to raise the awareness. And this may or may not affect you. Uh, we have a, vi a wide variety of demographics that watch us all around the world. Uh, we're normal placements around on uh, shows and podcast rankings around the world. So if you're tuning in, share this with your family. It may save a life. Esophageal cancer. I know we've all heard of it before. It is more rare than you think it is, okay? It is a rare malignant neoplastic disease of the esophagus that peaks at about 60 years of age and occurs three times more frequently in men than in women. Um, and so, you know, we're talking about equality. Those numbers are very uneven. Risk factors associated with disease are heavy consumption of alcohol, tobacco, smoking, uh, chew, things of that nature. Uh, aflatoxin is a moldy grain in peanuts or dietary deficiency, especially, uh, myobedum and may be involved also in if esophag esophagectomy, which is basically removal of the esophagus. Wow. Can you still live after that? You can. What? You have feeding tube though, is what you will need. Oh. And then, uh, it's found more often in Asia and in Africa than it is in North America. So just to Maybe keep that they in don't mind. Like to eat, you know, it's like, dude, if you <laughs> yeah. ate and use your esophagus. Well, if they hate our uh, hammocks, you know, <laughs> <laughs> dude, uh, dude, guys, I can see the doctor's book from here. It is gross. Okay. Just all the pictures on the doctor's book are just disgusting, man. I don't know how you can look at that. Was. You don't have nightmares. I know I have to do this to save lives. I yeah. don't do this because I want, or oh, man, I don't man. do this because I want to I do this because I have to. Wait, yeah. which one is it? It's both of them. We're just looking at oh, the those pictures, two. you know? Yeah. Like, what is that, you know? Gross. It looks like a shrimp. Well, that's why it affects Asia. They confuse that for shrimp. Maruchan, you know? Yeah. But you said this one affects girls, boys more? Yes, three times more uh, common in men than it is. It's already rare, but to men, three times as likely to get esophageal cancer. Oh, you guys better be careful. Well, here's what I'm trying to say, okay? Now, did it say what kind of men? Straight men is heterosexual men like. we already know where this is going right because women what are they consuming in their throat getting lathered <laughs> you know men are what are they putting in their holly lollipops teas <laughs> maybe also you can you think semen semen okay <laughs> so they're swallowing semen gulps how big are the gulps alice uh 7-eleven size <laughs> huh uh 32 cents 32, 32 ounces. 32 ounces. What are these, New Orleans Pelicans? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Holy, 32 ounce nug. Can you believe it? Dude, you would probably lose how much weight? 32 ounces? That's like 32 pounds or how many days that was? Well, that's like, a bukkake. You know, but he, she's talking about like the, the women that uh, hang around NBA players. Yeah. You know? oh, the yeah. Women Apparently, they all like to... Somebody Drink. likes to Blake that grip, you know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> you know they can't wait for James to harden. No. <laughs> <laughs> You don't think they're going to get the untamed but tumble? Oh, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> they look <laughs> like Duncan and Robinson. You know? <laughs> hey, they like to let that taco fall. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> they all show up in a Donna Van Mitchell, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> all of them. They need a big van. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? But yeah, so that's. I think maybe that's... You don't think that's a good... Because Alice, I mean, this might put Alice at risk, you know? Well, if she messes with a lot of women that also mess with men, that puts her at oh. risk. Well, let's see, because no, because we're technically healing women, right? If they're, if we're keeping her throat safe. Oh, yeah. Because wasn't it right? a lack of nut? Yeah, because us, if we're not, A you know, nut deficiency is what it said? Oh, yes, yes. I yeah. mean, you think Chris Blade, he's going to get throat cancer? Heck no. No. No, come on, dude, he's got that throat, you know, like Popeye, you know, the <laughs> sailor man, you know? Yeah. But us, you know, what could we do to protect ourselves drink almond milk <laughs> 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 um i mean this is this happens quite a bit so here's we didn't really want to say this we didn't want to get too into it we're not one of those sex uh shows you know but we are the number one sex ed education yeah we, we're number one in sex education but we don't want to be only defined as that yeah. right you can't define us we define ourselves okay <laughs> we don't like labels being placed on us but we are 
the number one sex education show in in Utah. But so a woman who consumes semen uh, has an increased or decreased chance and likelihood of getting esophageal cancer. cancer. Now, when they go ahead and consume it, right? So they, this, this isn't a fucking gargle. This is not a spit. They have to swallow. <laughs> A gargoyle. So they, yeah. <laughs> they When they swallow it, it starts becoming part of their system, right? They ingest it. Men can still reap these benefits by Kissing? going down on her. Oh, I thought you would make out with her after. It mm -hmm. gets filtered. Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking So idiot, the best dude. nutrients wow. go down there. So if you're a man who doesn't go down, then you're, you're three times likely yeah. to get this oh, fucking yeah, disease. Oh, toxic man? Oh, yeah, dude, that's so exactly. Toretto, it, you think so, my neighbor? Well, there, no wonder he's only got one artery left. Yeah, dude. Correct. He would not go down on anybody, you know. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense, you know. Correct. So. Alice, she might be protected too, then, huh? Yeah, oh, I'm she, definitely she, protected. But are are some of the girls that you're with maybe are they getting nuts too, Alice, or no? Uh, no. I can help with that. Okay, you think so, host? I can help her. Okay. Perfect. Dang. That's pretty what good. What is it know. called? Spit. spit. The circle hey, whoa, whoa, of life. Okay, the, the, it's the circle on. of life, Alice. That's there we go. Circle of life. <laughs> the circle of life. <laughs> but since we're talking about this. Technically, you it's know. It's not <laughs> Since we're talking about the circle of life, I broke my celibacy. You broke your celibacy? I did. Oh, uh, man. When was it? Last night. No one? Cla last night into Don't this talk morning. Don't for her, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm happy for her. God. Yeah. Last so, night into this morning. So you end to into this morning? Today? Into the day, yeah. Oh damn! Yeah. That, that was, many that's hours? a long sex <laughs> section. Yeah. I mean, it could have started at section eight house. It could have started at eleven fifty eight, right? It could have, sure. And gone to twelve oh one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so hold your horses, off, you okay? <laughs> hey. Let us, let us, you know, no, let don't, talk, don't it. talk to her like let that. Let Alice explain it. Okay? She's a six hour horse over here. You know? Yeah, hey, it's come on, they're not Polynesian. Oh, Tell she's not a whore. So what happened, Alice? So you know? Uh, so. You know, I got hit up. They needed company because they were kind of lonely. So what did they say? You know, make it. She's you know, a farmer's only. Read daughter. us a text. You know, maybe, you know, you got your. Oh, uh, well, I'll read some of it. I'm oh, not going to read all of it. Okay, you know? Bleep mm. out, you know. I'll bleep out something. Going to go into the ice agent. Dude, we've never been into the ice agent's phone, you know? Like, yeah. Whew. The phone of an ice agent. Hold on, we've been texting a lot. So it's Point to the cat. Oh, my goodness. People. So obviously, no no names. Right? Is this new or someone you've already... Someone I've already... Okay, cool. Nice. Somebody you've locked down in the past, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I can't list. find it because there's a lot of message. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just kidding. I found oh, it. Dang, and it's only been from today, from last night to this morning. It's that many that messages. Many yeah, messages, it's a right? lot. Dang. Oh, me so horny. <laughs> I thought she was lonely. Lonely. Hold oh, on. So lonely. <laughs> oh my Not gosh, anymore. did I pass it? I have no oh, Okay, so she they were it wrong. <laughs> so they were alone. They were alone and they wanted They were alone. Uh, they identify as yeah. <laughs> She said, um, I want you to come sleep with me and keep me a little company if you know what I mean. That's pretty straightforward, you know? Yeah. Come sleep like with me. That. And what did you say, Alice? And I, I like, know what you mean? Or you said OMW. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> WD. I said I'd be over in a bit. Oh, Dang. Alice. In yeah. a bit. All right, bitch. Yeah, keep simmer. her waiting right, a little you know? bit, yeah. Keep the trench tight, okay? Simmering your juices. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not simmer the fuck down, just simmering <laughs> your juices. Simmer. simmer. Soak your juices up. <laughs> cool yeah. down, simmer. And then what? What happens? So you get there, you know... Was she watching John Wick? You know, what was... she wasn't watching John Wick. No. Did you bust in guns blazing? I should have though. I should have kicked that door. But oh, like, what I'm were here. you wearing, Alice? Were you th oh looked all hot? Like, do you? Look no wonder she's still caught the last couple of days, huh? Yeah, well, I'm happy for her. Thank you, thank you. No, I was just wearing shorts and a t-shirt and a sweater because I was in bed chilling. Nice. And then you came One in. One call, man. And... <laughs> <Bad laughs> you just came in and straight to the bedroom, or you just like, hey? No, we went out for a drive. We went to talk for a bit, and we were smoking. And then we went back to her place, and she and we we were in bed, but we weren't doing anything yet. We we're just chit chatting, and then she put the moves did on you, you. Put the moves, or did she? She was trying. I felt like she was, you know, putting hints to make the moves, but I sh either I like. But the line kept crossing. Yeah, and either I like I blocked scared, it, you know? or I just wasn't receiving it right. And then finally, I was like, "Fuck this! I'm not just." And you're just like, yeah. Beep, finally, beep. I just took it and. To control 
Nice. So. And did you take weapons there with you or? No, no weapons. No? These weapons. Just a couple no batons? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't take a baton? No handcuffs? No, not this time. Just the raisin it was cane, a you know? <laughs> scissors versus scissors, it was a tie, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Chicken fingers. <laughs> Her favorite game at the fair, bumper clown. You know? <laughs> But well, yeah. Alice says she can have un nice a slice. Surprise. Surprise. Oh, man. Oh, and then did you sleep there or you left? Yeah, I slept there. Oh, dang. Very well. nice. Yeah, very nice. I didn't get up until 1030. Dang. And you slept in? Yeah. We both did. Oh, you slept you like a queen, huh? Hell yeah. Because yeah, it was a queen size mattress. Did you, make you think she had a bigger mattress? mattress? We w- <laughs> No. I don't know. We went to Denny's. <sighs> I don't know if that counts as... You were taking some breakfast from our breakfast party, Alice. We would have cooked for both of you. Yeah. <laughs> I should have came over then. Yeah. You well, should have. To the Continental. Like, right? <laughs> Intercontinental. That was, John Wick, okay, yeah. honey? That was a John Wick reference. <laughs> you all didn't catch that. But yeah. I don't think they mentioned the name of the hotel in the first one. Yeah, they did. They said the Continental. Continental. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When the he checks in. You're right. Dang. And then what? You guys had it again when you woke up, Alice? No. No? No. I was like, all right, I gotta go. I gotta brush my teeth. I gotta go home. Did things. you kiss her goodbye or no? No. Dang, you know. Chemo kitty or? Um, not really. There was, you know. Nice, hey. A little, little peach fuzz. Little yeah, there was a little peach. <laughs> a little scrubble. <laughs> and that's oh. probably what you were doing, right? With all the, the moisture in the air. Oh, yeah. Gargling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not as good as you, but yeah. <laughs> Hey, you just got to practice. I'm a gargle. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gargonacle. Years, okay? years of practice. Hey, because his throat is healthy, okay? You, piece you of think shit? I'm going to have esophageal cancer? Yeah, come fuck on. No. No. You weak fucks, okay? He's not, he, you know, he's LLA's throat. You think he's got to throw like LLA? Go fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> Why do you think he laughs so fucking weird, okay? He's got a good ass fucking throat right here, hold it, okay? <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty nice. I was, damn, man. So, Javi, are you celibate with me or no? Yes, sir. Okay, you know <laughs> by choice, Avi. <laughs> no comment. Yeah, hey, no I mean, comment. you're still celibate. I'm just saying some things make a difference, but yeah, no shame. No shame. And no, no there's no shame, but yeah, 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 no shame. Is it by choice? It could be sometimes. You know, when she pisses me off. So much for your body, <laughs> your choice. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice, Alice. You know, dang. That sounds, dude, because we, we were, maybe we put it in her because we were watching John Wick. We put that energy in her, you know? We were in her truck. We told the her, oh. The ruthlessness. Because I told Alice, you think you can let me borrow your truck? So, like, you know? Because she, dude, her truck was so big, you know? Yeah. The MAGA cab. That you can probably have a threesome in there, honestly, you know? Oh, I'm waiting thing, to try that. You know? Well, <laughs> hey. Summertime's coming. I might. You heard that, host? <laughs> Somebody else will be coming, you know? <laughs> Two other bitches with Alice. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh but you got AC, huh? I do oh, have AC. Man, dude, your truck probably smells so good after. You know, just like casino, you know? <laughs> that casino royale, you yeah, know? Yeah, for sure. Dang, that's so I'll hot just call Shotgun every time I ride with you from forever <laughs> from now. From now you know? on? Yeah. All right, perfect. Sorry for TJ in the back. <laughs> wow, that's pretty nice, you know? Uh, very you nice. You got anything else to share, Alice, or? Um... Oh, and you did say last week that you were going to get us uh, one of those weird nipple pictures. Oh, yeah. I got to talk to that person. Oh, okay. Okay. Good thing you reminded me. Cause I okay, but then forgot. how many more holidays do we have? We got a couple? or how we, uh, we have two, but you guys could pick out of the two. Uh, National Tooth Fairy Day or World Spay Day. World's what? Spay. Like you spay your neuters or your... Your pets. Your, yeah. And what was the other one? Tooth Fairy uh, Day. Tooth Fairy Day. What do you think? Dude, I mean, is Tooth Fairy just like a LGBTQ dentist? <laughs> Probably. Is it? I don't know. I never thought about that. Because, I mean, Hispanics, did they have the Tooth Fairy? Wasn't it a rat or something like that? I don't even know. Did we? Like, I don't remember. I thought it was so a we rat had or a... something, wasn't it? Tooth Fairy? I have no clue. Del Raton or something. They didn't say that? Uh, un... I think maybe you're right. Déjale el diente al Raton or something. Rat- like that, raton de Maya? <laughs> They would, yeah, because you had rats in your fucking house in Mexico. You know, they would be like, you didn't know all oh, their were... magical fucking, you know. Yeah. There's no magical fucking fairy, you know. It's yeah. a fucking rat. Yeah, they el raton, so they don't bother you. That's how yeah. they would let you uh, accept rats, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, make you uh, look uh, feel less poor, you know. Yeah, they're just fairies. <laughs> Rata de los papas, yeah. <laughs> just your mom swapping out. <laughs> That's a tooth fairy. It's actually yeah. a rat with oh, you that walks man. on two. Yeah. Yeah, bro, yeah, there were some brats in Mexico, man. My grandma's house, holy cow, dude! You can hear them at night, dude. 
that were like this like one particular room that was like almost kind of abandoned. It was like the guest room. Yeah. And you could just hear them like at night. They would just like crawl. There was like this like weird. It was like a closet. Uh, it's called a ropero, you know, but it's like a. What would you call that? It's like a armoire, like cabinet, the yeah, armoire, yeah, yeah, and yeah, and you can just hear them like at night, just crawling in there. You're like, oh, like well, because they oh, scuttle. The de- yeah, you can hear the little. <laughs> yeah, because they have like the little claws, and then they yeah. like. I hate the sound. So that was it always makes my skin crawl. That was always like my biggest like nightmare. It was like that. Oh, like I would wake up and I'd have a fucking mouse on me or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I, that's why I never liked Disney. You know, like rodents are fucking freaky. Yeah. Not in the good kind. Not so you've seen way. a rat host before? Several rats, yeah. yeah. Well, Ponce, Puerto Rico? Yes. Yeah. Parque de las Bombas. Bombas? Uh, like cucarachas, too. Like, out there, they're oh, much yeah. bigger than anything you've oh, seen Oh, how here. big are they over there? Just like... Oh, man. Like, you know, can hear... Because you can hear them flap their wings when they fly. Oh, really? <laughs> like, oh. oh. You seen a roach that big, huh? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen a roach that big. I only seen oh, a roach. Oh, I have. Like, you seen a big one too like that? Yeah, fucking like like Mexico. Oh. On my and, aunt's and then if there's like an infestation floor. of them, you can smell like their urine and feces and stuff. Ew. And then they hiss. Yeah, they hiss. They're slithering. So gross. Yeah. Oh, so gross. Ew. No, that's so gross, dude. I don't You've know. You've got what, mail. I don't know about cockroach, dude. I don't know which one's worse. You think a mouse or a... Fuck. I, I, I like absolutely a detest be. both. Yeah, I feel like cockroaches are just like yeah. a little bit worse than rats. And then the little fucking uh, feet. Because they can get into more nooks and crannies. Yeah, but like, like oh, my oh, they're they're harder get, to get out. Yeah. You get a cat, right? And yeah. Then, yeah, that doesn't make sense, dude. But yeah. to your point last week, Javi, it's like maybe in Mexico they're so stupid they don't have that many cats, you know? Yeah, because like they should do that in Mexico more, you know? Have but more... Uh, for cockroaches, you can use hoja de laurel, which is a uh, bay leaf. Bay leaf. Yep, a little chicorita, a little meganium, oh, yeah, dude, but like legitimately, if you, uh, my parents leaf? would put them in the cupboards, never have cockroaches. Oh, really? And they'd like switch them out every like three to four months or something. Or just like against a religion or what? It's <laughs> just like the smell is something they they, they hate. Oh, really? That's mm-hmm. like their devil's lettuce, you yeah. know? Huh. Dang, those they avoid it. Dude. And so like with mice, you would want to use something like cinnamon oil, peppermint oil. They hate that. Hmm. So if you have like just a, a diffuser or something, they hate the smell of cinnamon pepper there's a couple smells but i know those two are the most common ones oh maybe we should test that you know we got a couple mice in here and just the a, house just spray them with spraying it. yeah so you know spray this around and see if they escape make yeah. a little door <laughs> good luck with that you know <laughs> plus you have pancho <laughs> oh, oh, no, there's, sometimes i think about like domestic cats right like yeah if he saw a mouse you think he could even stand the chance against like a rat or something like that or he's too nice <laughs> he probably let the rat pet him yeah he's just like you would rub up against him <laughs> Oh man! Or ask him to feed him, you know. Uh, well, it's so <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fairies, Alice, I've always wondered. Oh. So remember, I, I talked about a gay friend of mine who was spit roasted. Yeah, right? yeah, bless you. So he's like a thinner, like more frail guy. Mm-hmm. So they called him a like. I guess they they oh, referred to him as a twink. Okay. Is that correct? I don't know. I thought like they have different names. Like there's Twink, and then like a bear would be like a more large, burly man that's more hairy. So like if I were gay, I guess maybe I'd be a bear. Maybe yep. I don't know if yeah. my stature is big enough, but um, <laughs> you could so be a brown bear. I could be Not a, brown a grizzly, bear. Yeah. but a brown bear. <laughs> what about a black bear? <laughs> black bears are pretty small, aren't they? Yeah, they're smaller. They're smaller yeah. yeah. Um, you a polar? You know? So is fairy like offensive in the gay community or no? I mean, I guess some people call it like you fucking fairy. Some people take it offensive, but. I... I don't care. Generally, it's okay. But yeah, that's more for boys, like you know? Like, it's not considered like maybe, homophobic. Like, look at me if I was a gay boy hobby and you call me fairy. I think if you were a gay boy hobby, would call you a fairy. No, like right now, you're going to call me fairy. I'm just. I've been called look that the, before. Yeah, look at this fairy over here, you know? Look at him. Fairying around like a fucking. <laughs> so this is a <laughs> fairy. It's more funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm fair. I mean, it makes, it makes you seem mythical and like maybe. Yeah, I don't fairy, know. I, so, your wand. I wouldn't yeah. take that as a. Like, <laughs> you uh, want to see my wand? Fa- hey, yeah. <laughs> fairies are associated. Hey, you know Allegedly, it happened to some, somebody we know. Yeah, fairies are associated typically well, with beauty. Somebody's wand? <gasps> yeah, somebody oh, was someone, trying to see somebody's wand, remember? Wasn't someone trying to see your wand? I can't say no names, you know, because they said it in confidence. Oh, in work? It was Javi's wand, was it? No, it was not my wand. Is this at work? No, this was in a club somewhere. Oh, in a club. Oh, yeah. is this the person that was on the show? No. Oh, then I don't know. Oh, his wife. Come on, guys. Simmer down. <laughs> Cynthia's been on the show. And she's asked to see it. He has two kids, or will will be. 
Oh, so you yes, have two babies. One. Yeah. There's a wand. He has one other baby on the way. But I've been called fag before. Yeah? Yeah. I think all of us have, you know, back True. in the day. But mine was weird because it was, so it was a uh, high school year. Uh, well, high school year? What the fuck? It was the year after I graduated high school. Ooh. So I was with my buddy and his grandma had just passed and his grandma collected coins. And so he had like a lot of coins from his grandma. And this was in 08. That was the year we graduated. And that was when the Dark Knight had released. So the Batman one. And so you had the Joker and then you had Two-Face. Two-Face does what? Flips a coin all the time, right? So we were obsessed with the movie. He's always flipping the coin, you know, making decisions for us. So he just had a couple coins from his grandma. He, We decided to just take the one coin. We're out and about. Uh, we go grab some food. And this is when Walmart used to be 24 hours, right? So we go to the Walmart in West Jordan, Jordan Landing. And this is like 3 in the morning. We're just buying some snacks, things like that. He keeps flipping the coin, asking questions, figuring out answers, figuring out our fate. And he flips it really high. And remember, he's like... He loved his grandma. This is one of the remaining pieces and of things for him. Flips it. He misses the catch. Only catch he missed. He was even flipping in the car and not missing. Lands on the ground. Rolls under the big aisles. <gasps> and if it were a normal coin, we wouldn't fucking care. But this was like his grandma commemorating coin. his grandma. It's like the Titanic coin. Yeah, so we're like, fuck. And we, it rolled and... The things were tall enough that it could have kept rolling several aisles. So I'm like, okay, let's split up. We'll go down the aisles. We'll just kind of like, basically we're crawling, checking under <laughs> the, the fucking isletas. And then I hear like footsteps behind me. I'm like in aisle three. He's like in aisle 11. I hear, the fuck are you doing? You look like a fag. I go, what? So I turn around. I go, what'd you say to me? Like basically, I heard what he said, but I yeah. wanted to see if he'd say it again. It's a Walmart employee who was power tripping or something, just goes, oh, you're looking like a faggot, looking for that, s what, are you, what are you looking for? And I go, wow, you, first of all, that's terrible to say. And my buddy had a coin that belonged to his grandma. His grandma just died. We're looking for it because it means a lot to him. And he goes, well, you can't be doing these fucking shenanigans in here. Get the fuck out. And I go, we're paying customers. You, I'll leave once I pay for my stuff and leave. It's like, mm, like he was be like he was upset that I wasn't budging. Well, you used your fucking powers, and so he just walked away, and we never found the coin. So we just paid for the stuff and left. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, that idiot. You know, maybe if he left his grandma, he wouldn't be showing off the coin. You Agreed. Know? Yeah. So you, those are things. What's you his keep name safe. again? I would I have made it into name. a chain, <laughs> right? You know? Huh? I put, put it, it in the pocket. Yeah. yeah you know? Put it in your pocket. He's gonna be out there like fucking. What's that cat from fucking Pinocchio? Honest John or whatever. I the think fuck his, his name, name was Cat. The the crooked the one that smoked cigars. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot his name. Yeah, yeah, he was out like that guy flipping coins. Crooked and shit. John, you know. Yeah, I thought that's what it was. You know. Yeah. Come on, man. But it was Henry. Was his name? Yeah. yeah. Crooked Henry. No, all, no, <laughs> Henry was my, <laughs> know, my buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was considering not that. I won't say the last name, but Henry. Oh, Henry. Yeah. Yeah. You guys ever have an artifact get lost, Avi? What's like the most man? Remember when you were a kid and you lost like one of your favorite toys or something, or you were playing or like remember soccer balls, Avi? Oh yeah, like oh, man, when you would kick it over bro. the fence or or like yeah, you're at a maybe parking three houses else. down yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and it was like your favorite ball, you know. It sucks. And you just see it just like fucking leave in the horizon. You're like, I remember I lost like the only Pokemon toy I got from like Burger King or something. Do you guys remember those? Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, like I lost a fucking Golem. Oh, and it, it like it was like kind of it was basically a top, and it like you like wind it up and it spun. It's so fucking cool, but then. I don't know if I lost it or like it fell on the gravel pit, you know. Yeah, I never saw it again. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I remember this one time I took my Game Boy, uh, the see-through purple one. Oh, like I had it, that one too, Alice. That's a cool one. Yeah, uh, I took it to Mexico with me, and we went to the beach for the weekend. Oh, in Mexico. And I was playing it and everything, and we were getting ready to leave to go back to my grandma's house in the city. And I swear I had it in my backpack because I put it in there, and when I looked while we were driving i couldn't find it and so i was so mad that sounds like an inside job yeah to me. it does i feel like maybe one of my a mexican cousins took take it. it she took it yeah. to the beach and forgot it okay i feel like my mexican cousins took it yeah i wouldn't yeah because yeah, remember back then it's like dude your cousin they would steal shit from you and then remember? my mom would be like oh we'll buy you another one when we get to the states yeah. and their and their parents knew too that they were stealing shit you know they'd be like i me who he wouldn't do that you know it's like bitch i saw you steal from my mom the other day you know yeah but you couldn't say anything out of respect because it was like your aunt and stuff like that. Man. Only thing I ever stole was a heart. Yeah? Yeah. My heart. Was it still beating? 
Yeah, <laughs> Mortal Kombat style. <laughs> you know, this person had a bone Vitality. disease, very frail. I wanted to see if you could really punch through it, you know, the rib cage and grip, rip out the heart. And with this individual, I could. Shout well, out to St. Jude. That would be so, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> be so fucking sick. They had you know? no rib cage. That's why no, it was so easy, fine. you know? And he was talking about St. Jude, the actual saint, because he was so old. You yeah. Idiots, okay? Come on, man. Uh, but do you ever lose anything, Hoss? Yeah, my, my Sky Rizzy pills. Oh, um, that's it? No. <laughs> um, I don't think I lost, like, a toy out that meant a lot to me or anything, but I'd, I'd break toys sometimes because, you know, you'd, oh, like, throw them. Oh, or man. sometimes you'd even accidentally step on them if you didn't put them away. So that happened to me a couple times. Oh, that's the worst. When you step on something, like, you could have moved out of the way, but you're like, oh, I know where it is, and it's, like, night or something. Yeah, and it makes and it then worse. you just, like, hear the crack, like, and then your parents make it even worse by like rubbing salt in the wound. They go, "Oh, see, if you would have picked up after yourself, you wouldn't have broken your fucking toy. I'm not buying you another one. You can buy one yourself." And then they put actual salt in your wound from where you oh, step yeah. on your toe. Course, you know, yeah. like, huh? Let me have a tupie. Para que para que entiendas, Yeah. Oh man, dude, I'm trying to freaking think of what I've lost, man. But I, I think yours, mine would almost be like yours, Hoss, because I remember like back in the day, I would get like a computer or something like that. Yeah. You would step on your computer? No, like I would, <laughs> I would try to take it apart, you know? Like I would try to take everything apart and then try to put it back together. <laughs> and then that shit, it did, like short circuit or something like that. It's like, bro, it wouldn't work. Like I had this like Mac, uh, not a Mac computer. Well, I had a Mac, but dude, that Mac sucked back in the 90s. You know, who the fuck gets her? My dad gets me a Yellow Ranger, and then he gets me a fucking Mac. You know, it's like, bro, <laughs> come on, dude. Back in the nineties, what the fuck am I gonna do with a Mac? And it was you the could, colorful ones, right? Like you could have put a floppy disk in it. You could just put CDs. Like it had airport cards. Yeah, the only know? cool feature was that you can put the mouse either on the left side or the right side. Yeah, there was like it was so. That was stupid. like the only cool feature. Like you could barely play any games. Yeah, you couldn't do anything on a Super. It was Mac. very limited. But remember, I, uh, one of his buddies, like, sold him, like, a PC finally, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was, like, I was fucking around the PC, like, trying to put, like, a disc burner and stuff. And I don't know what I did, but I wired it wrong, and I don't know what the fuck I fucked up. Dude, I was so scared. I went to the DI and bought, like, an old-ass PC, and I was, like, rigging parts from the old DI PC into this other PC. Dude, and I got it to turn on, and I just never touched it again, you know? Organ donor. But, yeah. <laughs> but I think they wanted to somehow... Dude, it took me... And it, like, I had to take it and hide it in the crawl space. I don't know how they didn't think, you know? I was like, dude, yeah. where the fuck's the computers in the crawl space? But yeah, it took me like, I don't know, it was like like three weeks or something like that. And I finally just got it to turn on the Frankenstein computer. Yeah. And I just like, oh, I put everything, I cleaned everything back together. Yeah. Got rid of the other computer. I actually took it to my buddy's house, Eden Madonna. Shout out to him. And yeah, like, I remember I gave him the big ass, like, I had to carry the big ass monitor and shit from the old. And I just gave it to him. But, you know, shout out, dude. That was that's funny. The last thing that I broke, but. <laughs> what is this no more fairies no more uh Tooth fairies what was the other holiday spay neuter come on spay neuter. yeah i just that's you know that's another mexican holiday you don't think so another minority because bro they get these pets and they don't spay and neuter their pets yeah that's because they believe in their body their choice yep oh so maybe they're so here in the u.s no very choice. oppressive <laughs> we take away their body their rights to their body they ne my dog never told me i just you know <laughs> you just did it i just had her fixed Dude, Poor that girl. would be a she good. Have a maybe that's why she hates me. You know, that would maybe be a that's good why threat. She sits the way she does in her car. Yeah, like if somebody's doing out a protest, like at the rally, she's on my body by choice. You're like, do you have pets? You're like, are they neutered? Threat neutralized. Yeah, get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't let them choose. Get the fuck out, get out, of out of here. She wanted a family. <laughs> he wanted to start a family. You took that away from yeah. them. Get the fuck out of here. Uh. No, you're saying you're protesting ass. You know your dog fucking hates you. you know? So I just roundhouse kick him right in the fucking uterus. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Good luck with your future family. Oh, that would suck. Huh? Imagine if you're a dog, dude. You can't. I mean, it would be nice and and crappy, you know? Because yeah, I do think about that. Of like, what if your dog did want to have kids? You know? Yeah, and I took that away from her. Yeah. Dang. But if you don't, they have periods, don't they, host? Yeah. She never got to that point. Thank God. No? Yeah. She's probably, did she ever have a period at, uh, at the house, Javi? I can't remember. Yeah, see, I don't think, I don't know. It's kind of gross. When a dog, oh, man, one, in Mexico, dude, we went to the, uh, this arcade, right? And there was this dog. <laughs> this dog was like the mud of all mud, dude. It had like, the the fur color was like just holographic, you know? It had like every single color. It was oh, like so white, a Puerto black. Rican dog, yeah. yeah for, <laughs> we don't know what it was. For her name was La Solovina. You know that was okay. her name? Yeah. And I don't even know what neighborhood she came from, but all of a sudden she started staying in our street, you know? 
Because we had like the top dog in Mexico. His name was El Guardian. And dude, that, like everybody loves El Guardian. But so Lovina, dude, all, all, she would start. I think she was trying to hit on El Guardian or something like that. Because eventually they had babies. But uh, we were playing at an arcade. Uh, and it was like at a puesto. And like the arcade had all white floors, you know? So me and my cousin Ricky uh, were like at the arcade in Solovina. She followed us, you know? Because she lives on our street. And uh, we're playing an arcade, dude. And she had her period like at the arcade place. And it's like all white floor suit, and it was like, like oh, the every, red sea. It was just like spreading everywhere because she was a big dog, and literally it was like a blood, like a pool of blood, you know. Gross. And we just pretended we didn't know her, yeah. you know. But she starts trying to get close. So I was like, bro, he doesn't say, you know, we don't know this dog, you know. But she got pregnant a couple of days later, but they right. sold her dogs, you know. Or in around. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out to Solovina, dude, and she had her cars. Like she had her. Her uh her house. I think I sorry. I think I actually know why she lived in our street. Cause we had a a car that was like some old ass Mustang. Like every all the doors were gone. You know they had a. I don't know if it was like stolen or something. Okay. But she would sleep inside of like the carcass of the dog of the car. Okay. So I think that's why that that was her house. Okay. And that's where she had her babies. That was where she like, hunkered down. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So you took her home public away. Public housing, okay? Solovina. And public sleeping, quite yeah. frankly, you know. <laughs> All and the public way around. birthing, you know. So she was the original, but yeah, I think that's it. Uh, anything Sleep. else? Nope, not oh, yeah, that. That's it. No? A mystery, Alice, or a question we got? I have a question. Okay. Oh, uh, just kidding. Maybe I don't. I can't find my stuff. Oh, she does have a question. Hold on. I forgot my stuff. What'd Wait. you forget? She forgot the question. <laughs> I forgot the question. <laughs> I forgot the tape measure. <laughs> forgot the tape measure. I've been fucking looking for that shit all fucking week. <laughs> Ooh, that's it's big. been right here, right next to me, you know? <laughs> on, you your actual size, guys. Actual size. I wish. <laughs> I've seen on TV. <laughs> off the tape measure, you fucking pervert. Duh, hello. Okay, well, there's two questions. One. When's the last time you shat yourself? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> two days ago, when I was at the Continental <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> last time i shot myself I, man. this one was me gambling <laughs> because i had you know when you get like the stomach flu and obviously like you have the runs and you're throwing oh, yeah. up so this was like maybe day two or three where i thought you know I, i'm good this i was ninth grade i want to say and uh so i like i decided i'm gonna fucking i i didn't think of the risk but i risked it so my brother's downstairs uh, and he goes, well, I thought you were sick. And I feel fine. He goes, oh, yeah. He just punches me right in the oh. gut. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's and that's horrible. when it went loose. And he goes, see, you weren't good. <laughs> oh. So I went back upstairs. He threatened you. Drug <laughs> in the shower. He did you a Laid favor. back in bed. Yeah, he did. He, he taught me a lesson. That's why big brothers are important. Yeah. What about big sisters? Oh, I don't definitely. have a big sister. Oh, man. Damn, but that was the last time you shot. How old were you? Ninth grade. So... 14, 15. And you haven't shot yourself since? No. Dang. Damn, I've come close. Yeah? But I haven't done it. Yeah, there's times where if I had maybe three seconds before I had gotten finally to the toilet, it would have been all that's over like the That's like the worst place. feeling. It's almost like death. You know, like you're going to piss yourself. There's like, a level of desperation <sighs> that's like <sighs> very few times you can match that level of desperation. Dude, this for me, dude, it was when I was barely going to start selling cars, right? Uh, and they make you do a drug test so you got to pee or, and stuff. Yeah. But I, I did. I'm like, give me the earliest one. And it was like at nine o'clock or eight. And, uh, but the first thing that you do when you wake up is freaking pee. So I pee and now I go to the test center or whatever. And they got the toilet with like the liquids and shit where, you know, so that yeah. way you can't, they can see if you put anything in there Yeah. or anything on your piss or whatever. But I had already peed and then i went straight to the thing so i drink a little bit of water and now i'm there so like okay go in um and i got my thing to pee and i'm trying to pee but i already peed so i'm trying to force it but now i drink water guess what's getting flushed my intestines you know so now i'm like trying to like like squeeze my stomach to pee but now like i can't squeeze it harder because now i'm like poop's gonna come out you know so I'm like, and they're like, dude, now I'm like, it's like 10 minutes in, you know? And it, like, like, where I'm the fuck's taking this guy Yeah, so long. it's like taking so long. Like, I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like, bro, I need this job, you know? It's starting to get muggy because it's hot. It's in the restroom. It's in the summer. And like, I, 
Pressure's I go on. To press again, dude. I shit myself a little bit, dude. So what I had to do is like, and I obviously can't like shit in the toilet because that's like they're looking at the toilet water too. So what I had to do, I had to like get a bunch of toilet paper and just like stick it in my ass. Oh, Alice, come on, you know. I had to stick it in my ass, and then I had to like clean up to yeah, where I could pee, and I pooped too a little bit. Oh, but then I could shit. just like put it in the you know and throw the it in the thing. trash. Yeah, threw it in the front trash like where you throw where you wash your hands yeah, Ew, yeah. so like the whole fucking bathroom is gonna because i couldn't wash shit, shit you know? but did i get the job of absolutely not like a patriot <laughs> <laughs> he failed the drug test <laughs> well, i don't know why he failed he pushed so hard there was blood in his urine you know, this guy just wants the free insurance so that's why <laughs> I did get the job. <laughs> <laughs> or That'd did I? <laughs> well, it says when you had to go test you to be, be a car judge, salesman. You know? <laughs> so yes, he did get the job. Oh man, man. <laughs> it was horrible, dude. Could you have? Dude, I was just holding onto my fucking Ooh, poopy fucking. Thing, I hope you, you know? washed your hands like five times. Oh, I did, you know. But I just, but I when I walked out, dude, I looked like I ran a fucking marathon. I was just so <laughs> st- <laughs> fucking sweaty. You know? Back sweat on my ass. <laughs> so I was like, like. Sure. It's all sweaty. Right. You know, it's like, oh, that guy's a hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, well, what about you, Alice? Uh, let's see. I think it was maybe six years ago. I was sick. I was, like, really sick. I was almost dying sick. And it's I, I'm not almost, like, the same thing as host, but it got to the point where <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't make it to the bathroom in time. And... And it happened. I was going up the stairs to use the restroom. and When you pooped yourself? When I pooped myself. And oh, one wrong step, man. I stepped kind of cricket in that one cricket <laughs> step. <laughs> so, you, so you lost the clinch? I lost it. And oh. boom. It was over with. But thankfully, it Did was it in run, my house. Was it a solid one or no? No, it was kind of running. Oh, man. Yeah. That's the worst. Yeah, it was horrible. But l- thankfully, it was at my house. So Yeah, you didn't have to worry about it. I didn't so have much. to worry about so much. Same with me. That made it much Embarrassment. Easier. I think Harvey, he saw it a couple times, you know? He would get Once nervous a week, when you know? play soccer, he got the bubble guts, they would call him bubble gut Harvey. <laughs> really? I, I thought they called him double bubble. You know? <laughs> That's for other reasons. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't think it's, like, I've never gotten to that point, but, like, I've been close. Ooh. Like, you're in traffic, I'm in traffic, fucking. Oh, yeah, I've had that happen, that. too. Close. And you're sitting there, like, your pants all of a sudden just, like, it becomes you're, too tight, so you're, like, trying to get naked, basically. And, and you're stuff. pressing away from the steering wheel. Yeah, you're, yeah. Like, you're, like, like pushing all the pressure on the steering wheel, <laughs> driving like Yeah, this. dude, I, there's been, like, twice where I, like, I don't know what I ate or whatever, or maybe it was, like, a coffee that sat, like, like bad. And uh, I'm, like, fucking doing everything I can. I'm fucking sweating bullets, like, like oh, fuck. I'm opening the window just to get some air, get and even air, though I'm yeah. stopped in fucking traffic, you know, I'm like, oh god, I like, I give myself like ten minutes, right? And if I if I don't make it in ten minutes, I'm just gonna shit here, you know. And uh, but no, luckily every time, I'm like just in t- as I'm pulling my pants down and I'm s- like squatting over the toilet, just fucking yeah, let loose, you know. Oh, I turn the radio up louder. I don't know what it does, but I, you know, I'm like, I need some <laughs> distraction. Y'all gonna make yeah. me lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, thank God, you know, it hasn't happened. Oh, man. Like, maybe when I was little, like, of course, you know, but, um, yeah, thank God, not yet, you know? I'm not going to say never, because... Hey, it can happen to anyone. Yeah. It's not a good... Like I said, yeah. I've... So many times. I've been fortunate I've been where it cold, happened. I've been cold, like, but, yeah. multiple times to a point where I'm and like, I, oh, man. I told you guys when I fucking shot up a storm at work, remember? There are a couple, yeah, I have where I had that oatmeal and it well, fucked so up many my stomach. Th- oh yeah, the oatmeal one. Yeah, yeah, like there, there were time, like two to three times on my way to the bathroom, I felt like I wasn't gonna make it. Oh man! And much like you, like I was, dude, I was out of breath from shitting. Yeah. What an awful experience. But then it feels good after, you know. I mean, you it feels it, alleviated. Yeah. Your stomach feels so good. I'm a survivor. <laughs> I'm a survivor. Remember when I had to what's pull worse, off like the side that of the road, constipation? Hobby? You're just like fucking. Uh, constipation. I feel like yeah, yeah. constipation is the worst. Yeah, because then I you're just bloated and you're walking. And you only can't when I go camping. Right. Yeah, I've only been constipated like teenage years. Like sometimes it's a bit difficult to push it out, but not like fully constipated. And that's awful. So I can imagine like not being able to go for days. Ugh. Did remember when? Did we tell you guys when Joaquin saw my butthole or no? What? No. <laughs> remember that? I think you guys when told I, me. I don't think I was around. 
You were there. You were. Oh, you weren't you driving? I don't think so, bro. Oh, it was probably Gabe, huh? Yeah, Gabe told me the story. Oh, I think. yeah. So like... we were. This is another <laughs> time I pooped myself, you know. But I, I mean, technically not. I, I didn't poop myself, but we were coming back from the gym or something <laughs> like that. So weird. And this is when you would. Uh, we were. It's over on Currents, the Gold Stream over there, and uh, we were just driving down, and uh, all of a sudden it hits me, you know, and but we came back. And it must have been like twelve at night or something like that, you know? And like everything's close. So we're driving down West Valley and it's like everything's close. And I wasn't gonna make it home. I was like, dude, I need to I need you to pull over, you know? And I was in the front seat, uh Joaquin was in the back seat or stuff like that. Or I can't remember, but anyways, like we opened the door and stuff like that. And just by the post office, I just like I let one go, you know, like a dump. And uh Joaquin, he's in the back. But he had headphones on the whole time. But he <laughs> realizes that, that when he stopped. <laughs> and then, like, he's like, hey, why the fuck are we stopping? But he's like, as I'm poop is coming out of me, he, like, stares out the window. <laughs> as, like, the turd's falling out of me. And he's like, <laughs> so, like so he looked into my butthole as I'm dropping a freaking turd, dude. Dude, uh, when I tell you, that was, like, the biggest turd in the world, dude. This is what's crazy, okay? So... That turd was so huge, and I was like, I can't believe, like, I had a shit in public, right? Like, after I pulled my pants up, but I actually sat, like... Did you wipe it? I, it, we, I was out on the road, like, I pulled my pants... I would have used the socket. I, I, no, I sat on my knees. Shirtless. I sat on my knees, like, you know, <laughs> instead of my butt, I sat on my knees, like, with my back facing out, right? And then the next day, because I sat right by the post office, like, the next day I'm going to work, I'm like, bro, I gotta see you, because it was so big, I'm like, oh I gotta see gosh. it one more time. And, dude... Like, the post office, instead of, get, like, getting rid of it, like, because it was so nasty, they just put a cone so nobody would step <laughs> on it. There was a cone God. next to the side of the freaking poop, dude. It was so funny. It's almost like a signal, like a monument. Like, but I felt good. I was like, oh, man, I can't believe they put a freaking cone, you yeah? know? It felt so nice. Dude. Joaquin knew you had two brown eyes. He didn't realize you had three brown eyes. Yeah, but you should have seen it. He's like, oh! <laughs> The drop around, so he wasn't paying attention the whole time, like yeah. an idiot, dude. But uh, uh, next time we have Hakeem, we're gonna have to ask him that. <laughs> That's why I keep toilet. After that story, I keep toilet paper in the car. I do too. Yeah. I mean, not for that story, but I still have. <laughs> I still have leftover toilet paper from the drug test. Look at <laughs> Use. Okay. <laughs> he believes in recycling. <laughs> That's his compost basket. <laughs> it's my coffee filter. <laughs> he, yeah, when he told us that he likes you know gardening and he has a green thumb, it's green for a different reason. <laughs> it's because of the protein and you, okay. you ever eat any of. Uh, uh, beefy's vegetables, you know? <laughs> oh, God. You actually ate <laughs> homemade fertilizer. <laughs> I do put steer manure in that. I yeah. know you do. I've seen you do it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, man. Gosh. That's enough of those shitty stories. You think so? I think so. You know? <laughs> Okay. You think so? <laughs> you think so, host? You think you're ready for your next question? Yeah, we're. I'm ready for the next question. Okay. I'm not asking anyone. We're ready for the next question. <laughs> <laughs> shit going on. Okay. <laughs> oh. Um. The next question is: When is the worst time to get hard? When you need to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that possible? Happen? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Because, I mean, the blood circulation is already going that way anyways. Oh, I don't know. Huh. And it could feel good when it comes out, you know, the shit, because of Maybe your uh When you're prostate. old person, you're just like, fucking... Okay. Yeah. Huh. That's huh. The, the Lord Cialis. <laughs> but um, the worst time. What was it? The worst time to what? To get hard. I'll say, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's the worst, but... Like, sometimes I'll be hanging out with a chick, and, I, you know, I don't want to be... Because that night I wanted it to be platonic, right? Yeah, and yeah, I even, yeah. I even kind of expressed, like, do I want to do anything? I just want to chill yeah. and have a good time. And then it's like something happens, you know, they're attractive or just you get excited and it gets hard, but you didn't intend to. Yeah. And then they see it. And then not that they've ever thought this and they've it's assured like me that they did. but boner? I don't know, maybe. And then now I'm like, oh, they think I'm an asshole now that I just wanted to just hang out. But now he wants it type of thing. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. And I, I mean... Uh, they've been really cool and they just like take care of it anyways but I'm like dude that's not really what my plan was uh, it sounded almost sleazy but anyways it's or like was a, it no part of this plan like a weird I mean you just used your powers and you know what? I really don't want to do <laughs> yeah. reverse psychology yeah. Yeah. So that, that's not a good one um, 
presentations at work, but thankfully that had never happened. Oh, I don't think. Uh, but like, because there's ways around it and stuff, uh, just like flexing my legs. So it draws the blood to my legs instead. But then your legs, people can see your legs going like this. While <laughs> you're well, not like when I have my pants on, like, and I'm sitting, I can just flex my quads. Oh, that would be, that would suck, you know? In scrubs oh, at right? work. Fuck. But scrubs would have your penis good, I feel like, man. I don't no. feel like it. No? I feel like I don't it think so. I think you have like tight ones? No, it's not even tight, but it's oh. like. It's like comfortable. Oh, I guess. okay. Like, I, I, it's you know like I mean? blue, so it yeah, has room like, to expand. Yeah. That so there's sense. no there's nothing like compressing against it, you know. You don't so wear underwear or anything. Nope. <laughs> it, or like it's a funeral. That power ball that just busts through, you know. <laughs> but when no, I don't think I've had one at work. Oh yeah, at a funeral because everybody's like grieving. Couple Undertakers, you think so? My yeah. altar boy. Couple Tucker Carlson. Oh yeah. yeah, that would be weird having getting a boner at church. To me, it's almost like when you're walking, kind of like Cole said, you know, you're talking to a little senorita, a little muchachita. Yeah. You're flirting a little bit, you're vibing, and then you're walking, but now you got a third leg going on, you know? So I, you feel like you can't hide it, you know, because you're walking and it's yeah. just kind of like dangling there, man. That's just like, oh, man. I would probably say that now, like a public place, like as an adult, like, and you have to walk. Yeah. You feel like maybe nobody's paying attention to it, but you feel like everybody's looking at your boner, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's v unlikely, but yeah. it's just how you feel. Yeah, I mean, I get so nervous when that happens, man. Any other ones? Um, I mean, I could look real quick. No, 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 no. I'm just saying because we have to get we have to get the pie for the birthday, but we're already, oh yeah, no, I don't have know? any other ones. Can you go get the cake, Javi? There's a cake. Uh, it's in the white thing and a knife. Can I give him my present? Oh no, I'll wait. For well, we'll wait, back. and then we can have to sing happy birthday. Wait, can I have your present too? No, my present's right here. But it's Jose's birthday, okay? Oh, well, well while was. we wait, a while couple. we wait, can I ask this other question? Okay, go ahead. How long can you go without showering? Shower without a shower, sorry, and still get laid? I've never. I'm very courteous, uh, honestly. Like because I think I think that would be disrespectful if it happens on the spot. But that I've always liked to make sure I'm clean and hygienic for that reason. I, I think it would be uh, like I'm not saying it to like for brownie points. It's just. I'm so anal about that, no pun intended, no freaky, <laughs> that uh, I have to. And honestly, if I don't feel like I'm clean, I might get aroused for a moment, but it goes away. Like, my mind's like, no, you can't do this. Like, for And I've actually stopped from having sex because I felt like I'm kind of dirty and stink, and I'm like, I'm not going to do this. Yeah. So sometimes I'll just hop. I'm like, hey, can I use your shower? And they'll be like, yeah, that's fine. So I'll shower, then we can get it on. But if I can't do that, then it's so... How long, I guess, if I'm going to define it. I just base it on how clean I feel, but I shower every day. For me, I would just say, like, that's a good... Yeah. Yeah, for me, that's just, like, a good excuse to fuck in the shower for me. Ooh, like if, you're damn. kinky. That's what I do. Like, if if I already feel like, okay, I'm, like, dirty and stuff like that, it's like, hey, you know what? Why don't, why don't we go lather each other up, bad girl, you know? Oh. Get the little... Let me get some... Uh, let, let you condition my hair, you know? Under one condition, you know? <laughs> that we fuck okay and we do play a little bit in the shower you know soap up some tits you know Dude, i don't like showering with i mean some are terrible to shower with oh yeah you i have mean to find i'm the not right fucking one. in the shower i mean you know but she no, can I know, suck but... me off a little bit you know play with her tits just rubber oh no i fuck in the shower yeah i've never done that i don't feel that's an appropriate place for me oh, really i just like yeah no, yeah, I fucked in the shower, but it's not, I mean, maybe for boys, it's not as cool. Like, it's cool, but it's... It's not in the that shower? cool for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, like, it's, it's never cool, been a it's... thing for me. I've never been aroused by it. I don't think it's hot. Because hmm. it's also, like, the thing you got to remember, Alice, like, because, like, your penis, like, you start getting your uh, pre-cum or whatever, it starts, like, wiping it off. So it feels like, I don't know, it doesn't it feel, feels like, weird. smooth. Yeah, it almost feels like your penis is a squeegee, basically. Oh, okay. So it's like like you're squeegeeing a vagina. Would you say that? Host? Almost, yeah. So it's like meep, meep. it's almost like you're it, <laughs> you're. It almost feels like I guess if your dick was a dildo, basically. And honestly, it's not even good for women either because like it's water and you it's throwing it, the water is not good stuff. lubrication at all. Mm. Um, you need other things to have a more soap. consistent like lubrication. Water is, does not make it, soap is an awful. <laughs> Uh, well, it can be awful. I'm not going to say it is awful, but it can be an awful lubricant, too. Yeah. But I do like soaping up a chick. You don't think so, Alice? You soap oh, yeah. Up a, oh, man. I wash mine. You soap up a girl, man. The I butt. like to because you explore the body. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fun to do it, but I don't enjoy it with every... like. So, it, some are much better than others. Some is just not a good experience to do that with. Yeah. Thank you. I feel that. Thank you. 
But we actually got a cake from some of uh, Melissa, uh, M -m -m Melissa and Nissan uh, from her relatives from the Saipan Sisters. That's actually what they're called, okay? If you guys want to get a cake. Custom made, okay? Do we get to see what this cake looks oh, like or no? It's a, fruit, <laughs> it's a fruit tart or cheesecake? Hey, watch it. It's a fruit special. Uh, Fruities. <laughs> it's a fruit cake. <laughs> It's a fruit tart, you know? That's a gay guy that went to the slow class. You know? It's just a sassy uh, <laughs> a fruit tart. <laughs> a gay guy that writes the short book. <laughs> a gay guy that licks windows. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to sing. It's Mr. Powers' uh, birthday. The beautiful I don't know if Mr. you can Powers. see it. But his cake is oh, there, you know? Let's I'm, try it again. I'm not willing to lose the... Yeah, this oh, is that's cake. Cute. This is cake is almost as expensive as yesterday's fees or two days ago, okay? <laughs> Just this fucking cake alone, guys. So, okay? So we're going to start. Who's going to... You know, Alice, she's she's going to start us with she's the chance lead of us? a happy birthday. You yeah. think so? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Uno, dos, tres. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Okay, stop it, hubby. Come on, Sorry, man. sorry, sorry. Look at hubby trying to ruin your birthday. I wasn't trying to ruin it, man. <laughs> Okay. Right, okay. You ready? One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, Mr. Powers. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Thank you. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe now we can just hang out a little bit, right? Well, yeah. You want to say anything nice to Mr. Powers, Javi? Or oh, we I think you presents. have to say something super nice, Javi, because dude, you, you, we were here to sell. You didn't celebrate him. This I have. Weekend I have just time. super sweet things for him. I can't. Mm -hmm. You know. Speaking oh. about fruit tarts, Javi. <laughs> 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 what did Javi? Get you want to cut? Maybe cake? yeah. We'll pass to Javi. You know he's a uh, he wants to be employee of the fucking year. He can cut the fucking cake. Uh, okay? One of the little foundations of the green. Oh yeah. Candles in here, so just make sure I was able to withdraw. <laughs> if you get the foundation, the you win. <laughs> yeah, the foundation <laughs> of powers. Um. Oh, here, here's the knife. <laughs> He's gonna cut it with his hand. <laughs> My germs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll pass the place to Alice, and we'll just keep our fork, and Alice can. Oh yes. Around. Okay. One a slice, you know. One nice slice. slice. Nice surprise. <laughs> and it was a nice surprise. So thank you. Who is this from? That's from me. Thank you. So this is a, a unicorn because I'm a rare breed. Because they're yeah. eunuch. <laughs> yeah. um, and I am a eunuch, which is why I'm not able to obtain any STDs. Uh -huh. So contrary to when I was out, when they said I had a, a venereal disease, <laughs> they're neutralized. neutralized. <laughs> <laughs> Hobby, what are you doing? Okay, <laughs> I'm trying not to ruin. Hobby, cut the box oh. instead of the cake. <laughs> this what is got, a blockbuster oh, edition, man. 500 piece puzzle of ET. Hey, you know, oh. This is nice. You can take it with your VHS that you left near <laughs> the last three months. <laughs> I need to dig out my VHS player, <laughs> my VCR. I need to dig it out. But um, Viva Cristo Rey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do the. I don't know what you know how they make it solid so you can kind of like hang it up. Oh yeah, oh, I'm gonna you have to put do it that on the this. board or something. Epoxy or yeah, something. Yeah, you can glue it to a board and then yeah. just stack it. But thank you, Alice. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And this one is from Javi. Yes, that is correct. Okay, some high chews. Oh. <laughs> the gift that keeps on like giving. You know the only <laughs> yep. chocolate you like. Is He's in bed. <laughs> <laughs> High true, okay. My body, my choice. I choose these, okay. <laughs> okay, Jose, I don't want, I don't want this big of a piece. But this is Jose, oh, yeah, the first, the birthday either. boy. Okay, thank you. Bobby, did you bite it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Lord's tithe right there. <laughs> he took the ten percent. Yeah. <laughs> 10 percent of your cake. Uh, I got Starburst. Oh, I love Starburst. Know. Only the pink ones. Fruit so. shoes, okay. Uh, <laughs> Gay people addicted to tobacco. 
A watermelon Arizona hey, from Alice. You know these are nice. Special I haven't had one in a while, actually. Do I bought it Alice's farm? The Wuhan farms. <laughs> Uh, and then a giraffe. Oh, how pinch it in there. It's a Check teeny it. baby. That's an indication of something else, you know? Long neck, okay? You know? <laughs> I know you like uh, That's giraffes. the kind of females I like. <laughs> uh, if you check his name. It's Gavin. With my long neck, I can reach tall trees and munch, <laughs> munch on some of those tasty leaves. Hey. Okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my that motto, hint? okay? <laughs> oh, man. The cherry leaves, if you catch my drift. Thank you, Javi. Yeah, yeah. And thank you we'll for the, you guys, the cheesecake. If you guys like this, if you guys don't. Oh, it's, I've had this before. Not this flavor, but it's good stuff. <laughs> I can't believe he took a 10% off of mine. You know? <laughs> Dude, I don't know what happened to mine. Look at this. Dude, look, he he know, gave me the looking. commandments over here, the first ones. <laughs> the look one that this, Moses you know? broke. This is a bad commandment. Dude, is this know? coconut in this cream? Hey, it's just good, huh? Yeah. I'm telling you, man. So, say pan sisters. Caribbean connect, you know? This is absolutely delicious. Yeah. This is really good. Very delicious. Shout out to the say pan sisters. Say pan sister. Yeah, I don't know what happened here, dude. Look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to part the Red Sea. <laughs> oh. Impossible. But now the fridge. How many oh. cakes do we have, boss? Uh, quite a few. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> The, there's a banana cream pie yeah <laughs> there's a a bunch of stuff for french toast that we never made yep there's a cream right now for coffee oh we got cornbread too oh, oh yeah cornbread, we have cornbread yeah. but i'm gonna throw it out tomorrow why so end of black history month <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it's a new month Alex. new month what the females what's female bread you know i'm gonna get some keto fucking bread up in here you know? <laughs> oh is that what marches <laughs> yeah yeah alice you don't know well you all better start you know appreciating you <laughs> appreciating me every day alice hey. when have i not appreciated you that's true. Oh come on! <laughs> oh, let Alice speak no. for herself. She's a woman, okay? You're using your you power. Can, you can't mansplain on behalf of Alice. It's the twenty eighth, okay? <laughs> Alice, go ahead and speak. It's true. You have always stood up it's for me. Still Thank February. You. you stand for me every time. Oh, hey, you pervert! <laughs> hey, that's not a lie. I've been trying to be nice to Alice, you know. Say, hey, hey, boss, you know. <laughs> and how does he treat me? <laughs> How do you treat her? <laughs> Hello. Remember when we did uh, Dissecting the Song, which, by the way, check it out. Oh, yeah, check uh, it. We're dropping on Fridays. Right now, maybe just one video per Friday. We know we have, so obviously, Tuesdays, we have the Beans and Rice Show. Sundays, we have the HOA from Javi. And then right now, Fridays, we'll have Dissecting the Song. Mm -hmm. We don't know if we'll put out more than just one video on Friday, but we don't want to bombard or compete a ton with... Ourselves. All the other days of the week. With ourselves, we'll, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. We treat these people pretty nice, you know? We do. Do they deserve to see us that much, dude? Absolutely not. Come on, they don't but... even got friends. Come on, man. <laughs> Glocko had to go to fucking El Salvador to get one friend, okay? <laughs> Come on, Glocko. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? He's getting married to her. <laughs> Cue the Queen song. You're my best friend. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Congratulations, Glux. Yes, congrats, man. Yeah. He doesn't even talk to us anymore. You know, he forgot about us. Oh, he yeah. talks to me. Really? Yeah, he messaged me on Sunday. Damn. Jealous. <laughs> I mean, he did wish me happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Jealous? <laughs> Come on, Glux. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> He got sick and tired of being called a piece of shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame him. Okay? <laughs> hey, you're not going to be on my side. People, but you know what? He so much. No, but look, hey, I, you know what I'd get tired of, too, is that old fucking Buick he had. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. The environment does, too, man. He found himself a new ride. <laughs> no, he's got a trooper, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and he's Zuzu. Fucking Star Wars looking <laughs> ass. Huh? Get the fuck <laughs> The bucket head looking ass, you know? <laughs> Always misfiring, you know? <laughs> Never hits its targets. 
Because they got laser guns. <laughs> Who the fuck you think you're going to shoot? Star Trek, come on, man. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Uh, that automated need, pistol. Need to get it. He needs to get himself an Alec Baldwin. Dude, we need to get Star Storm Trooper. What are those called again? Stormtroopers. We need to get those outfits and go play laser tag. You know, Ooh, I'm cool. down. Just show up dressed like that. You know, <laughs> maybe one of us could be Darth Vader. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we just go fuck some people up. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Yeah. I would be dark. What is that? Dark Sid or what's the name of that one? The Which black one? guy. That's Mace Windu. With the spikes and the red face? Oh, that's Darth Maul. Yeah, I want to be that guy. Who'd you be, Hawk? Darth Sidious, maybe, you know? Who's that one? He's the one with the hood that just, like, corrupts everybody. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the one who uses his power? Yeah. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> the Force. <Yeah. laughs> we know where they got it from. <laughs> Alice, you're more of a Star Trek kind of girl, aren't you? I like Star Wars. Yeah. Did you watch it in person or no? Yeah. What do you mean in person? Like, I'm <laughs> on the set? Well, I don't know. What were the most famous movies in person? You guys don't have famous movies? In person? In, in prison. prison. Oh, in prison. I'm sorry. I heard prison. Um, in prison, we watched all the Twilight series. And we watched... Um, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Would that make them horny, though? Yeah, yeah. it was. It was making all of them. The, their aspect so it of was romance. Actually, it was actually a, a great time for me. Oh, I have a question, time. Alice. What's up? So, since there's so many females in the jail... Right. Like, so you, many. There's, <laughs> so like many. The, there's like the main bitch, you know? The dominant one. Is it true? Does, does the dominant female throw you on her cycle? So, let's say, like, the top bitch. Like, all of a sudden, all of you guys have to... Your period on the same month, the same day? Um, no, but with your celly, like your roommates, you guys usually were in sync. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, that's so crazy. Because you guys obviously were living together and all that. So yeah, you, they were usually in sync. Wow, that's so crazy, huh? I thought in sync was a boy band, you know? It is. <laughs> it's because they were fucking in the back street, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no diggity, no doubt. <laughs> in 98 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like a swamp with all that moisture in the air. <laughs> oh man, boys can't. We can't do cool stuff like that, huh? With nature, absolutely not. The fuck can we do? Look at a compass. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I I like to know where find I'm driving. North, you know? <laughs> find the north star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't got like any cool instinct like that, huh? Like no. throw me on your cycle. No. I mean, but sometimes I don't we know if that's really cool or anything. What do you mean, Alex? Like we. <laughs> Imagine the bond you like establish as humans the, connecting, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like connecting like just it's just beautiful, you know. Like naturally. Yeah. Ew. And funny enough, we're we are we're in such a patriarchy, what do they call it? Menzies. Yeah. And so we're still involved, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well it's because we invented how to type and read and stuff like that. We invented the menstrual cycle, you know? Mm hmm So it's your guys' fault that we bleed. I was gonna get a, a tiny slice. Yeah. Another one, please. Is it gonna be a nice surprise? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, it's so good. Well, tomorrow it is, dude. He's gonna Literally, my whole diet has been candle. cake and pie, you know? Are you going to shit yourself tomorrow? <laughs> I'm probably going to be constipated, you know? Because then we got another birthday sugar coming up, and stuff? you know? Well, I don't know. Sugar that, doesn't you constipate don't make me you. Poop? Yeah, you'll poop. Oh. It's got sugar. It's got cream. Whose birthday is next? Well, we got Priscilla's birthday. We got a lot of birthdays coming up. It's almost like Basically, every, everybody every month. that I know is born from your birthday. All the way till the end of freaking February, bro. It's freaking crazy. It's my powers. All well, the Pisces crises, man. Max, anybody else? Well, we think more hoes, huh? Maybe later, but yeah. Yeah? This is way good. It's all good, huh? It really is. Yeah, it's like not too sweet either. But I think outside, do we need to say anything else? or? I think we're good. And just hang out in silence and just watch people watch us <laughs> eat? Yep. We just can do like ASMR. The... What do they say in ASMR, Javi? Do they just see like... I like this cheesecake. It's so good. Now hear me chew it. <laughs> what is the what is the one they do in Korea? The mukbang. Mukbangs. What's that? <laughs> That's it's when they hot. just eat in oh. front of the camera and they, they eat just... loud. Like there's like, yeah, like, and they eat, like weird shit. And people find that attractive, huh? Yeah. I don't know if they find it. It attractive. just sounds relaxing. It's like you're hearing like. I don't think that's relaxing. Hearing someone chew. Well, it's because you got a, in Korea, they didn't got food, so it's like... <laughs> or, or friends. <laughs> or friends. <laughs> you know, you have to do it like... Yeah. Food with friends. <laughs> so it's like a date, in a sense. Yeah. Or just a Food hangout. with friends? Yeah. 
Pang 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 Pang. <laughs> this is actually our new segment, guys. Welcome to Food with Friends. <laughs> we wanted actually, to slowly introduce this. Yeah, Alice maybe wanted uh, to introduce me to some of her fel uh, felon felines. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I felon agree, felines? Yeah. Pat pending. pending. So I take them out. We'll see, you know. I've it's going to really... be like a new app kind of thing, you know? Yeah. We're testing it out. Yeah. Yeah. I've never really messed with a felon. And can you look at the record of like, do they get points, you know? Like, you, do you, how many points do you get for taking out the top felon? Does that make sense? Like, hmm. this, this like taking her all really the way? Bad or really, you know? Like, yeah. you, somebody that has, like, a, you know, I mean, uh, well, domestic like, terrorism or something like that. Take him yeah. out? Right? Or take him out? Yeah. No, we're saying, like, she, Hall is just taking the girls out. Yeah. Like, but, but, like, what's the rank of the girls? So it's like, you got to rank them by crime, you know? So, like, the top tier, like, the premium membership. So, yeah, you know? what would be Like, premium? on the longest yard, they get half a star. Yeah, so like yeah. A full star, five like the stars. top bitch. Who was the top bitch in prison? What was her name, Alice? Um, it was usually the lifers that were top notch. So what was like one of their names? Uh, one of them was uh Rebecca. And she was white or Mexican? She was Hispanic. Was she fine? No, she, I mean she's short. And what did she do? Um, and she was the top bitch. Probably murder. It was murder yeah so like if you took her out you took rebecca out that would be i don't know if i could take out a murderer you, you know i don't want to risk it well most well, of the lifers you don't, you don't know until they're after not the coming date. out so. yeah okay. most of the lifers were top notch were, were there for murder so that would be a cool concept so i'd take them out and you know, then you find out what they did after do my thing yeah and then i would rank them in terms of Likeability. How much could I see it's myself like in a relationship? You potential. Know? Yeah. I murdered that pussy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> could I possibly see a relationship with this individual? And then you guys would tell me the uh, charges, you know, what she's done. I can turn life around. See, you would say drop or cop, right? Yeah. <laughs> drop or cop. Beat it like a cop. Patent pending. pending. So that could be a show. Oh. But it Probably. depends on how many people she can get me in touch with mm. um, and how much money is in my bank because it could be dwindling. It could be. But I could get you in touch with most of them. Okay, nice. Yeah. Oh, Alice, maybe we, we should do we should do love letters to uh, female prisoners. I would do that. Mm. You know how to send a letter to... Can we do it just for fun, Alice? Like, do they need, like, prison pals? Like, something like that, you know? Yeah, some of them do. I think... Um, I don't know. I haven't checked. But we wouldn't address. put our address. You know, we put probably hobbies because he has a public <laughs> space. We'll, we'll open up a P.O. box. You know? I, think I, have, I think I still have a P.O. box. And the P.O. box will be a parole officer's, you know, <laughs> office, you know. So if they step out of line, they get a right back behind bars. Parole officer's is what you meant. <laughs> a P.O. box? You have box? a P.O. box, Alice? Yeah, I had one because I was still oh. writing people in the pen. Yeah. And I didn't want them to know it was me because yeah. I would get in trouble. You know, they're going to fuck around and find out. I'm going to call them Kit Kat Karen because they're going to be up behind. The fucking bars. <laughs> but you don't think you would write a... I would write letters, what, yeah. what if you fall in love, dude, with a prisoner? What and so think? be it. I don't and know. I'd so have to... be it. Yeah. And then you fall in love. What are you going to do? Oh, she would do your laundry so good. They say that prisoners, they're... You Top know, notch. Once they become part of the system or whatever. Once they actually back into... Life, yeah. That they, oh, they have to clean all the time. They have to do your laundry. They have to iron shirts. They have know? to be organized. Meanwhile, they, they're trying to get an Instagram thought. Come on, guys. They're structured. They need the structure. Yeah. And I can provide that to them. Well, they can provide it to us. Put them on the schedule because that's they're, what they need. They're they're like the perfect stay-at-home mom. That's like all they know. That's true. <laughs> no? I can't disagree with that. <laughs> You're saying... But I mean, there has to be a look test too. I'm not gonna just oh, take okay. some swamp trolls, okay? Yeah, but aren't most of the people asking there, Alice, at the prison? No, I mean they're just gay for this day. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that what they call it—a gay occasion? Yeah, they call it gay for this day. Man. And they tell their husbands, or no? They don't have husbands. They don't have husbands. All those girls? Oh yeah, they do. Really? Well, the ones that murdered them, no? <laughs> yeah, besides them. <laughs> and what was the funniest crime you think that you saw? Like somebody, what, what was like the funniest crime somebody, you know? Uh, there's something to a taco bell or something like that oh i was homies with one of the ladies that robbed the quiznos and <laughs> she put the people or the employees in the freezer but forgot to lock the freezer so as soon as she ran out they got out of the freezer and called the cops and they caught her like halfway oh what an idiot yeah and that was the last quiznos too you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> they went bankrupt after yeah. that you know oh, that's probably why that piece of shit
<laughs> she robbed her last profit <laughs> margin. <laughs> That's really what she went to jail for. Not the armed burglary or not. What, what, are the, what is she? Was she armed? I think she was. Okay. Yeah, she wasn't. What is it when they have no limbs? Uh, <laughs> Amelia. And Amelia, yeah. <laughs> that was her name, Amelia. <laughs> close. It was close. It rhymes with Amelia. Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia. <laughs> a cherished, beloved book. Now she's a criminal. Yes. Oh, I already ate too much that's of this. That's how it always happens. <laughs> yeah. But anything else we got to say before uh, we call it a night? No, Javi. Anything you want to say? Oh, watch the HOA? Nothing? I mean, you can watch it. It's all <laughs> no right. pressure. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Yeah, go watch that. Go watch all of them. There's only 11 episodes, so you can still catch up. You know, they're only an hour long. Yeah, I need to catch up. Um, Don't be like Alice, you know? Yeah. Keep, <laughs> stay up to date. <laughs> and, uh... The dissecting the songs, those are pretty fun. Make sure you guys are watching those. Um, if anybody knows anybody that wants to be on the HOA, send them my way. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it right now. And people that can talk, right? People that can are able to tell a story. Uh, Javi's not here to help direct the the question, or direct the conversation, not hold the entire conversation himself. So if you know someone who has like cool stories to tell they do something unique you know, they, they've been in a, a <clears throat> domestic abusive uh, relationship that survived you know i have a couple of people they sent them my way i got a lot of jokes for them too <laughs> i love domestic violence i'm just kidding. same that's why i got locked up <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness and anything else anyone else need to say anything Get anything off their no chest? it was a good uh february good february happy birthday yeah, cynthia in case fast. we didn't say it oh yeah happy, yeah, happy birthday, birthday to cynthia, cynthia. Too. Not really because she missed, but, you know, I hope you woke up today. <laughs> and uh, what else? Anything else? Like, yeah, subscribe, it. share. Unless we forget. <laughs> Una vez más. Y te la Ciao, guys. <laughs>